Hello everybody and a very good afternoon, good morning, welcome along to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby and we are here for an award winning show. Yes, our craft along which you guys absolutely love. And I'm going to put it out there, nothing quite like this anywhere else because it is even more interactive than we are normally here on Crafters TV in that you guys love to come and craft along with us, whether you join us on the show or you craft along at home in your craft rooms and then send us your pictures a little bit later on. Absolutely love this show um, and it's going to be another absolute fab craft along because we do have a guest to introduce you to uh, in just a little while uh, and a brilliant collection to craft along with too. I must just mention at the top of the show uh, that our end of summer sale still continues on the website. That does run up until midnight on the 2nd of October. Loads of great deals for you there. You'll see it on the homepage. Click on it, open it up uh, and you'll see a whole host of other little tabs that you can click on. New deals are always getting added so whilst things have sold out it's worth revisiting because new things are added all the time and will be up until the final day which is to say is uh, midnight the 2nd of October. More to tell you about in just a second but you might be wondering why on earth is he wearing a jumper with angry tomatoes on? Well firstly they're not tomatoes they are pumpkins and I'm wearing it because we have got a Halloween craft along. Now, the thing to say straight off the bat here, the box that we're gonna be crafting along with has sold out, it's sold out in record time. So if you've got it, great news, you can craft along. If you didn't get it, I do have some alternative Halloween goodies that I can offer you in just a few moments time, but let's see who is hosting this uh, spooky craft along and what the project is. It is the one and only TV wifey, my absolute fave. Spooky Debbie Robinson. <laughs> Yay! Oh, only one person for this one. I only think. one. Only, only one. one because you launched it, didn't you? I did launch it. I did my Facebook Live the night before. I did a, a launch show on it. Um, I loved it. It flew, it's, and I think the reason why they've given it me is because I think I was the only one that got the chance to play with a box <laughs> live before it sold out. Uh, so yeah, absolutely, I'm really chuffed about this one. Uh, I feel a little bit underdressed though, Ben, I'm not gonna lie, I did tell you I was waiting. Yeah. I ordered an Halloween dress. I waited, I've been waiting, waited for Mr. Postman every day, it didn't come, uh, so I'm just in my normal, uh, normal attire. But you look lovely. Thank you very what, much. What You're was on the dress? Welcome. What, what was on the dress? What was on the dress? Mm. You're not going to believe it, but it's true. Pumpkins. Oh. I know, I know we would have been matching his and her, Mr. and Mrs. TV, wifey TV, or be. We would have been in sync as well, but yes, alas, not to be. However, <clears throat> What a craft along this is going to be. Mm -hmm. So real time crafting. We're going to start this project together and hopefully finish together. Wow. Uh, using this window bay kind of design, but using everything from that fabulous Halloween box. Uh, but be rest assured, they, you can still craft along if you've got the other things that we brought in due to the sellout of the box. You can craft along using the other elements that Ben will talk about um, a little bit later on. So don't worry, but real time crafting, two hours. Let's focus, let's get ready. I can't wait to get the craft on because this is, I feel a me more me, me element when I'm doing this. I can't wait. Honestly, th this was so quickly out the door that I, I literally, I never saw it. So I'm super excited to explore this craft along this afternoon. I'll go through the other items that we've got in just a few moments time in case you didn't get it. But if you did get it, uh, here's everything that you'll need to get crafting along with us. Hopefully you've seen this over on the socials, but you'll need uh, the Halloween box, obviously. You'll need some matte black and multi-purpose cardstock. You'll need uh, stitch head stitch edge oval nesting dies. Uh, from your Spectrum Noir ink pads, you'll need your quick dry in the orange and jet black. In the water reactive, you'll need your noir black. Then you'll need some tri blends. You'll need your Gemini. You'll need a scoreboard. You'll need your Collal um, all purpose and tacky glue. Plus, you'll be needing some foam pads as well. Oh, oh one page today. Oh. oh, that was nice and succinct, wasn't it? No. Yeah. Normally it's a couple, uh, but uh, let me tell you what we do have available for you. So as Debbie says, you can take elements of what we've got here um, and still do the craft along later down the line. And this is so much fun. If you love Halloween, if you've got 
uh, kids who want to craft their own Halloween um, cards and goodies this year, then this is such a great collection to go for. It's the Happy Halloween Collection, 24 elements. You've got stamps, dies, and stencils within this collection, um, and it is literally just the cutest. This is your haunted house. Um, so within this collection, you've got uh, stamps in here, you've got dies, you've got your stencils in there too. And if I just flip that around once again, um, you can see uh, exactly what you're going to be getting in there. Um, seriously cute, the little uh, little vampire mouse in there. So that is your haunted house. It's spooky, but it's cute spooky, this collection. You've then got the Wicked Witchcraft kit. Again, how stunning is that? Again, stencils and stamps and dies in there as well. You've got that um, spooky witch's cat and spiders and cobwebs and all sorts going on um, within that one. You've even got a little embossing folder, of course, as well. Um, so plenty to be crafting along with. And once again, in the pump Pumpkins Galore collection. Obviously, you've got your pumpkins in there, embossing folder, stamps, dies, and uh, well, it's like a stencil to sort of build your own pumpkin with as well, which is phenomenal. So you get all of those elements and paper pad. The paper pad is included this time in the deal. So your six by six paper pad, and I know how much you guys absolutely love Halloween. I would encourage you to snap up this deal um, I love this here, sort of spooky jester, uh, the pattern on that one. But you've got kind of um, Halloween frames in there. You've got, this is brilliant again, the sort of uh, falling Halloween pumpkins and hats and feathers in there. There's cobwebs and all sorts. I would say to you, if you love this, get the collection and then uh, jump in and grab more of these paper pads. You've even got, you know, just sort of um, some autumnal papers in there as well that you can use outside um, of Halloween. But great here too, you know, if you'd like to do your scrapbooking, your memory books, you've got plenty of pages that you can snip into, uh, but grab the collection and then grab the pad. Look at the price of the pad on its own, just £3.99 or $5.56 if you're a Platinum member. Um, do not miss out on that. Also worth mentioning before we introduce you to our guest today, for our US viewers later on, we do have um, a US warehouse clearance show. All the goodies are now live on the website. You're looking out for your orange sticker items. Um, you'll know how busy these shows can get. So if you're thinking, oh, I want to take advantage, then get in nice and early. There's lucky dips, there's goodie bags, there's mystery boxes, there's the whole shebang. Get on the website, get those deals, and uh, once again, if you do spend over $50, there's free shipping for you as well. All the details there on the website. Uh, and that show starts at six o'clock tonight, one o'clock Eastern, and it's a three hour extravaganza with Sarah. We'll say a few hellos in just a few moments time, but the most important hello of the afternoon must go to the lady he's gonna be crafting along with us over the course of the next couple of hours. I can't hear and we're anything. going down uh, sort of to my old neck of the woods. Um, well, I'm a bit further down, but the lovely county of uh, Somerset, and I believe the lovely Jane Wilson joins us. Hi, Jane, how are you? Oh, I don't think she can hear me. I can hear you, yeah. Oh, how, Jane? How, are you okay? I can't hear Ben. Oh, she can't hear me. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, that's, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? That is a bit annoying. Uh, we're going to get that sorted out and um, we'll go back to Jane very, very shortly indeed. We can say a few uh, hellos to other people who have joined us. Diane's in um, saying hello, beautiful Debbie and handsome Ben from Tennessee. Uh, Christine Maloney, Maho Maloney? Christine Mahoney says, hello again. Uh, it's a beautiful card. It is, and you can be making it. Uh, Nana joins us from Arizona. Uh, Laura's in from Virginia. Uh, Lady Laura May says, hi, everyone. I'm going to actually be crafting along. Give us a little wave, like a little yes. digital wave if you are crafting along. We'd love and to hear. And share your project at the end. Yes. Yep. Terry Tom Anderson is in, says going to watch and craft later. Barbara Rostovsky says hello from Indiana. And Gilmore says, hello, Ben, Debbie, team and crafty peeps. So excited to watch this craft along. Ben, I love your jumper. You need one that glows in the dark. <laughs> I'll try and get that for next time. <laughs> God, you never please some people, can you? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Ast I'm only joking, Gilmore. Astrid says, hi everyone, I'm watching whilst getting a ton of ironing done. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. oh I, feel, oh. I feel your pain, Astrid, I feel your pain. Uh, Sarah Bedford says, hi Debbie, great to see you. Me and Kira will be going along to oh. the uh, Chesterfield store at the weekend for the Halloween craft demo. Oh, and it's not me. Oh. It's not me that's there. No, I miss, I miss them because I was there two weekends ago. I was there, so I did miss them. I did wonder where they were, but yeah, it's not me that's doing it. It's, I think it's another demonstrator that's doing that one. Oh. Well, it could be someone in store, actually, uh, but that should be a good one. That'll, yeah. be a, that'll be a good one. Halloween-themed one. It'll be fabulous, and I'm, I'm pretty sure Kira will have a fabulous time. 
Um, good morning, love your sweater, Ben says Michelle. Kate says, good morning, everyone. <laughs> love the jumper. Gilmore says, Ben, are you crafting along? I am not today. I did the last one, of course, with Craig, where he taught me to, uh, to colour with the tri-blends. Uh, but uh, Jane is going to be crafting along once we can uh, get all of the sound issues sorted out. Worth bearing in mind, just whilst we are uh, waiting for you to, guys to get all your bits and pieces together, that end of summer sale is still live. I also just want to point out for you as well that the collection that we launched yesterday, the brand new Angel collection, is also still available for you on the website. Uh, over 70% though of the stock has already gone, literally launched yesterday, uh, but you will still be able to find it there on the website for you. So you can pick up uh, that deal right there, but go quickly because I know the launch was massive yesterday and more of you bought it during wake up call this morning uh, but that is hugely hugely popular hi to ray he says hi everyone uh, very much looking forward to the craft along sarah brown joins us saying hello hello my crafty friends uh, debbie ben and all the crafters tv gang uh, sending hugs to you all from melbourne australia uh, where it's after 11 uh, and watching from my bed uh, val says hi ben and debbie i won't be crafting along as i have to go out soon but i'll have a go tonight as there's no uk show perfect opportunity yes. uh, to jump in and have yeah. a go um, um, and hi to Laura, who says hello from uh, a beautiful morning in Arkansas. Um, just going to show you a few items. We just want to make sure we've got uh, Jane's sound sorted out before we begin. Um, she can't hear us. She won't be able to craft along. So we're going to try and get that done. And I am going to show you some other goodies that we've got on the show. So as well as picking up that Halloween collection that I just showed you, we popped together a selection of the water reactive ink pads and a lovely, lovely color palette here, which is going to work perfectly with your Halloween set. So uh, you've got in here your honey pot. These are all water reactive, of course, so you can do all your water reactive techniques with these and your blending as well. Uh, and of course, if you're going to have the honey pot, you're going to have your jet black included in there too. So perfect colors for um, all of your pumpkins in there. You've got your pine tree. Uh, you're also going to get the Friar Brown. Lovely colour palette. And I love the way that we do this as well, making it nice and easy for you uh, to be able to take these colours home, you know, create beautiful backgrounds. You're not kind of like scrabbling around for colours, thinking, oh, what colours will work nicely with my uh, Halloween collection? We've done the hard work for you. You've got Chinese red in there too. And then you've also got uh, the Bordeaux. So a lovely selection to go with this. Uh, £24.40 is your platinum price or $36.40 uh, if you're shopping with us in the US. That's a perfect partner to pop into your basket with your collection. Um, a few more hellos. Julia's in from um, Australia, uh, Perth, Western Australia. Hi, Julia. What time is it? What time is it there? I'm not very good with my time zones. Let us know. Uh, Julie's in from Poole in Dorset. I know what time it is there. Um, I'll be crafting along, but with the Christmas theme. I like that. Again, this is the great thing. You know, if you haven't got the collection, you can choose other bits and bobs, follow the kind of uh, craft along and insert your own ideas into it. Um, I've just ordered the other Halloween set today, though, says Juliet. You'll love it. Uh, Darlene says, hi, Ben and Debbie from Virginia. I'm so excited. I've got the box. Um, and Astrid says, nothing like a healthy dose of Ben and Debbie to make ironing bearable. That should be our new catchphrase, Debbie. Uh, Debbie and Ben making ironing bearable. Um, we're, we're just... <laughs> Ironing. We're just going to get a bit of inspiration before we get started, Debbie, because obviously we're just trying to get um, Jane's uh, communication sorted. So let's have a look at what else we can make. Yeah, so, so don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll start with that craft along as soon as we ironed out those little few issues. But I'm going to show you some amazing, um, absolutely amazing samples from our fabulous design team. So some gorgeous different ways that you can use this collection. All sparkly themes. Oh, wow. I, love that I know, ghost. I love that one. It just really is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but lots and lots of different ways you can use them. And it doesn't necessarily have to be cards. It can be things like invitations oh, as well. Yes. So these can be invitations to your Halloween parties yeah, and yeah. things like that. Uh, but then, of course, they can be in the form of gift boxes. So you can have your little trick-or-treat gift nice. boxes. Some sweeties um, in there. Exactly. Make, you know, other things that we have in our collection. We've got lots of boxes in our um, library at Crafters Companion. Mm. And that's exactly what you can be doing with them. And, of course, having a lot of fun. And I mean a lot of fun with all of these fabulous pieces, fabulous elements that are in your uh, kit, that are in your collection, and you can see all the lovely ways. I love that one. That is yeah, just very cute. simple, but really striking. Lots of lovely stamp sets in there as well to create some nice pieces. Uh, get creative. I love chop that into, mouse oh, I love, honestly, love into that. Chop into it. Uh, I did a similar take on this one oh, this wow. morning, what we did um, using this one. That's one, a lovely one that our Debbie did. But lots and lots of different ways that, of course, you can use them mm. um, and get creative with. And I honestly, I, I'm trying to find my little... Um, 
I did put them down somewhere. Have I put them back? Here they go. Let me, these are my favourites. I love these. Obviously, I made one, but I did take inspiration from this one here. The lovely... Um, <laughs> coffee shaped gift boxes that you can do and if you want to learn how to make them uh, you can go back to that launch day show which did we say was the 15th of august yeah 15th yeah 15th of august where you can go back and get all the different inspirations with all the different things that i did uh, during there and on the 14th of august if you go back onto my page at crafters companion uh, debbie robinson crafters companion there is a two-hour dedicated facebook live that i did where i created uh, a tp card oh, amazing. using them so yeah so there's loads of inspiration out there um and we're going to start with that craft along very shortly. <laughs> In a minute, I'm all ready and raring to go. The suspense is killing me, Ben. It's killing me because I'm dying to get crafting. We, but we want to see if we can get hold of our lovely Jane so that she can hear us. Yeah. Uh, because for her to craft along as well. But hold tight. Get ready. Let's mm. let's see what happens. Let's see if George has worked his magic. Well, I think George is in there currently, like pulling out a few wires, plugging them back in again. Control Alt Delete, uh, turning it on, turning it off. Um, what worst case scenario? I think what we'll be able to do, hopefully, is just have uh, Jane crafting along with us. We might not be able to get her to hear us, um, but we, if we, at least we can see what she's doing. We can potentially see her card at the end. I know there's lots of uh, other people already in watching us. Jean Marie Penny says, I'm watching from my bed. I said, work nights now and I would be sleeping, uh, but I can't miss you lot. You're my wonderful addiction. Well, that's lovely of you to say, um, Jean Marie, and uh, do, do get some sleep at some point though. Uh, Julia Duffy says, oh, it's just, what, 17 minutes past 9 p.m. in Perth. So that's a little bit earlier than uh, Sarah, isn't it? Who's in Melbourne, because it's just after 11 there. Oh, okay, I'm learning. Uh, Deborah Barnfall says, good afternoon, everyone from sunny Lancashire. I'm making notes and saving the show to try it later. And that is a great thing, of course, as well. We love it if you craft along with us live, but this show will always remain on YouTube. It will remain on Facebook, so you can come back and craft along when you like. Um, it may well be that you can get the uh, the goodies right now. Once those have been delivered to your home, you'll have that craft along to come back and uh, do at a later date. But we are going to get started. We are um, hopefully going to get um, Jane to craft along with us, but we're still having a few problems of getting her audio. Uh, but if you're crafting along with us, do let us know in the comments. And as always, at the end of the show, if you get a chance, send in your pictures. If you don't get a chance to send them in, you can always send them to Debbie or me via our Facebook pages, and we will um, always uh, see those and, uh, and comment on those as well. Hi to Janice, who says, good morning from West Virginia. Cannot wait to watch this craft along. Well, let us get started. Um, Debbie, I am throwing the floor over to you. Right, so we're gonna start with Matt's black cardstock. Um, so you want to take, to get to create the base of this, uh, we're actually going to use two pieces of black matte cardstock. So, um, first things first, let's cut them down to size. So you're going to need your guillotine, you're going to need your cardstock, and we're going to cut two bases that measure seven by seven inches. So I'm keeping it fairly a regular size, but this kind of style of card, this window bay card, can be done in a whole heap of different sizes, but I wanted it to fit with the theme and have enough space to be able to play around with little characters from that box uh, kit as well. So that's exactly what I'm doing and why I've created seven by seven. So I'm going to use my large guillotine. I'm going to place that underneath and mark it on the seven inch mark. Uh -huh. And we're going to trim both of those down to seven inches by seven inches. So literally, I know that this one is my seven inches because my arm isn't extended, but I do know it's a seven because I use it ever such a lot on here. So literally take your cardstock down to seven by seven and do that on the second piece as well. So you've got two of your card base exactly the same size. Try not to let it move like Debbie just did then. Woo! That was close, that was close. Um, and then we're going to use these scraps for uh, cutting out all the characters uh, in a moment. So that is your base of your card. So one piece is going to remain flat, yep. but this one now I'm going to pop in some score lines. So get your scoreboard. And then we're going to place it on. Now, there's no long or short edge because, of course, it's a seven by seven. So you just pop that on there. And we're going to score in a few places. Let me just grab my scoring tool, Ben. I forgot to pick it up off there. There we go. Uh, and we're going to score this at half an inch. So I'm going to do, first of all, again, whenever you're scoring, make sure your cardstock is up to the butt of the board oh, yes. on the left-hand side. And we're going to score this at half an inch. And just do a couple of gentle score lines. You don't want to be running your paper or going through your cardstock or anything like that. So just a couple of gentle score lines. So we're going down at half. Mm -hmm. Then we're going down at two and a half. So your two and a half inch, top to bottom. 
a couple of times, we're going to break those fibres. We're going to go in at four and a half. And then six and a half. Okay. And there are your four score lines. So I'm just going to repeat those for you, just in case you uh, just want to know, again, those score lines. So we've got seven by seven in the cardstock, two pieces, one you're keeping flat, one you're scoring. Yeah. One you're scoring is at half an inch, two and a half inch, four and a half inch, six and a half inch. Now, we'll do step-by-step -step instructions on this and pop this on my Facebook page um, probably either tomorrow or Friday. Okay. Um, just so that you've got a, a copy of them as well. Uh, but what you're wanting to do now is put your fold lines in. Now, I am just going to put them in just for a second, but you can be doing your cutting with your oval and things like that. But I'm just going to show you how it will look first so you get to see the basis of the card. So I'm turning this um, panel onto a, uh, I want to call it the, now then, is that the mountain? It is, the mountain. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to bend that underneath itself. So again, if I just look at this, you can see, in fact, this will be, this will be class, this one is the mountain. Class that one as the valley. Valley, mountain, another mountain. So normally we do valley, mountain, valley, mountain, but we're not doing this time. Look at Ben's face. I'm, I, so I bet you're thinking, I'm glad I'm not crafting along. <laughs> no, uh, I was just thinking I wish I was. Valley. <laughs> valley. Mountain. Yeah. Mountain. Ah. And then again, a yes, little I've valley. <laughs> So, Johnny's just gone, good it. Yeah, I've got yeah. it now. I've got it. Yeah. yeah I've I'm got just it. showing you how it will sit onto your card so yes. you can see. If I hold it there, you can see that a little bit. That's your bay window. That's the bay window of the card. Gotcha. Yep. And this, when you stick those together, that's what creates the card fold. Now, I did say this was going to be a nice, easy one. And it really is going to be a nice, easy one. Uh, but that's your base. That's your bay window simple and straightforward and if i just show you when it comes in the colored version you can see that's how it sits onto your card but of course we've got all the panels cut yeah and yeah we'll come round to those in a second and how to create the aperture um and then of course it just sits there so you can see it's like that valley can you see there there we go that's how it would create it love it um, so that's how it creates the bay window uh using that piece of cardstock so it's absolutely honestly fab so again valley Mountain, mountain, valley. Yep. And that's how it would look. It actually looks, when you leave it like that... Like a bat. It looks like a bat. It does. Oh, is that what, not what you were going to say? Oh, uh, no. Oh. No, but like a... thank you. That's part of the demo. We're taking that one, Ben. Yes. Uh, so that is basically the card fold done and dusted. A bat window, not a bay window. <laughs> that's your craft along, Yeah, thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to cut panels. We're going to cut panels for the front, panels on the inside. And I say panels on the inside, one piece on the inside. This is when you're going to choose your cardstock. Now, I've gone for, and this is from the 8x8. Eight eight. Now, if you were doing this in a smaller version, you can do this in a smaller version, Ben. You could do this 6x6 six six, exactly the same way, or 5x7. Or you could do it exactly the same way with score lines in the same place. Mm -hmm. However, you need to choose your cardstock. I've gone for the uh, ones that match. And I'm saying the ones that match, Ben, all of it matches. Mm. Um, and they're all double-sided as well. And that's the same for that pad, if you're going for the pad. But of course, this is from the box for those people that did get the box. Uh, so I've taken the lovely pumpkins that match my gorgeous Ben's jumper uh, and the orange <laughs> that complements it as well. Because that's the bit we're going to emboss. This is the bit that's going to sit on the inside. So we're going to chop down now our panels. So first things first, I'll use the patterned one first. So we're going to go in with, um, let me bring in my large guillotine again. We're going to trim this down to uh, six and three quarters and six and three quarters because this is a seven by seven. Oh, so yes. I just want that to fit onto there. Uh -huh. So again, lift up your arm. Now for the six and three quarters, that was the seven. You're going down. Yep. Arm, leg, arm, leg. Mm -hmm. uh, you're just going to go down a quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to lift that up for a second, put the cardstock up to the top or the paper, hold it down and slice into that. And exactly on this other side, in fact, shall we do it that way? Yeah, That's a lovely way. paper, that, isn't it? I mean, it's a beautiful just for paper. autumnal cards yeah. as well. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly what it is. Now you can see that you've got the perfect mat and layer. However, this particular piece of cardstock has got, um, and I haven't done it, it's in, it's in the cardstock, uh, sorry, in the paper itself, it's got this lovely distressed edge. But because I've snipped into it, I've took off that. So we're going to come back to that in a second and we're going to distress around the all of that using, actually, 
one of the ink pads that's in the collection from, oh, the, jet, yes. uh, from the jet black uh, water ink. Oh, uh, yeah. But for now, that's your back panel done. Mm -hmm. Don't stick it down just yet because we're going to distress around the edge. But we're going to create panels. Um, with the spare bit, I want you to hang on to this because we're going to create two smaller panels for inside valley tabs in a second so just put that to one side for now we're going to cut the main three pieces that will sit on that bay window front on those three panels now we know that that's a two inch because this was a two and a half four and a half we know the two inch panels so for that reason i know that this next piece will be one and three quarter inches yeah so it's the notch down before the two and i want to cut it to the same size six and three quarters so and i'll repeat all these measurements for you in a second yeah we're just going to cut all of these three pieces down. Okay. So I'm going to go in at one and three quarters by six and three quarter. And that's my second piece. And then lastly, my third piece. One and three quarters by six and three quarters. So if I just move that to one side for a second, push those out of the way. These are the panels that will fit in perfectly into here right you are now you can stick these down if you want to however i'm going to do a little bit more to it if you want to keep it plain that's fine but i'm going to emboss with them so what i would say is right now if you want to craft along with the real time project don't stick them down just yet so that's your three panels and then we're just going to cover these two smaller panels down the side but i'm going to bring it in and tie it in like i did with the card i'm just going to put a bit of the pattern <laughs> card stock i think it just offers something a little bit different uh, it, it matches in with that back panel, so that back panel doesn't look lonely on its own. Yeah. So, we know we need a six and three quarter inch. Okay. And because I've already cut it to that size, I know that panel's already six and three quarters, so I don't have to do anything with it. The only thing that I need to do with it is try and work out, because it is only half an inch. So what I'm looking for is a sliver or a quarter of an inch. If you've got a paper trimmer, you can actually do that. But I'm gonna use my guillotine and I'm gonna use it where I pull the finger guard yeah. back as far as I can. And I'm gonna line that up with this first. So although there's no marking, I'm gonna line it up. So I've created my little sliver, nice, neat and straight. Perfect. And it will fit in perfectly into there. So again, just pull your finger guard Make sure that that is upright all the time before you do this. Yep. I'm pulling the finger guard back so that I've got a straight edge, a straight line, and a straight measurement. And that's just a cheats way of being able to create your thin panels that are going to fit in to these two if you haven't got a paper trimmer. Perfect. So that fits in there perfectly. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's how I would recommend doing those. Of course, okay. if you were leaving it more than half an inch and you were doing an inch, then you can work it out a little bit better. But that was just my little top tip way to be able to create that perfect panel that sits into there. So that is your measurements. And I'll repeat Lovely. those again. Yes. You start off with two pieces of black cardstock, uh -huh. both seven by seven. Keep one flat. And the second piece, you're going to score at half an inch, two and a half inch, four and a half inch, six and a half inch. That creates the bay window. You're then cutting your patterned paper to six and three quarter inch square. So that's your pattern paper that gives you the perfect matting layer of a quarter of an inch increment, which I always find looks really nice, a nice frame. Yeah. Uh, Craig will agree with me on that one. I just think it looks really nice. So that's six and three quarters by six and three quarters yep. on your pattern paper. You've got three panels of your corresponding, because you might choose a different pattern paper to what I've chosen. So just work that into mind, look at what the papers are in there and then the coloured cardstock that's in your kit and choose that matches your paper. And these three panels measure at one and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches. And you want that three times. And then lastly, those two little pieces are six and three quarter by the sliver that I showed you how to cut. Yeah. Or in terms, if you were doing it perfectly, precision cut a quarter of an inch. Okay, so that's your panels all sorted. We'll come back to that in a minute because I think we'll have just a quick breather, yep. people to catch up to that mark, um, and then we'll get going again.
fabulous. If there are any questions at this point, then now is a good time to get them in, or if you need anything repeated, uh, details at the bottom of your screen. Must say hi to uh, Janice, who's joined us. Uh, loads of you watching today, which is great. Uh, Flora Lawson says, good morning. Debbie and Ben from California, hello. Uh, hi to Jennifer Joseph says, good morning from Hurricaneville in Central Florida. Um, watching y'all until we have no power yet. We're sending our love and prayers and thoughts to um, any of you guys who um, are, are gonna be affected uh, by that. I saw that on the news earlier uh, today. Karen has joined us. Um, hi also to Sarah who says, fabulous style of card. I've not seen this style before. Uh, Sandy Bellinger says, good morning from Connecticut. Uh, Brian Dickey says, good morning from Batesville, Mississippi. Um, Shannon H says, hard to believe October begins this weekend. Where did the year go? <laughs> it, honestly, like where has the year gone? And before you know it, I know I'm sort of wishing away time here, but I always think as soon as October rolls around, then you're looking, you're staring the festive season in the face, aren't you then? It'll be Christmas before you know it. Um, lots of love for the paper pad coming in. Um, don't forget, you can still get the six by six paper pad. This collection here is not the same um, collection that Debbie's crafting with because the box sold out, but you can get um, lots of Halloween elements within that collection and the paper pad too. The paper pad available individually also. Uh, Shadaya says, good morning, my Lord Ben and Fab Debbie. Late for the show, uh, better late than never. So she says, always, always better late than never. Um, and thank you to Lillian who sent a joke in saying, Ben, I have a cheesy joke for you. What do, what do you shout at someone who's trying to steal your cheese? Um, that's nacho cheese. What? That's nacho cheese. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's nacho <laughs> and nacho cheese. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, that's a bad joke. That's why we it. love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, no, says Sil Sparkly. I refuse to accept this October on Saturday. Not happening. It is October on Saturday. It's definitely happening. Halloween will be here before you know it as well. So uh, that's absolutely why you need to get your hands on. If you've got the box already, well done. Uh, if you haven't yet got this box, it has sold out, but we do have this Happy Halloween collection. And obviously you can use elements of this to be able to create the card uh, which Debbie is making. If you do need any card, by the way, we do have a uh, bundle, which we'll show you later, uh, where you can get multi-purpose, matte black card and craft card card as well so uh, you can you can create this style of card and then add your own additional elements I think this set's really cute because you've got your pumpkins uh, galore craft kit embossing folder uh, stencils stamps and dies in that set with all of your pumpkins there. it's a 10 piece set this one's super cute with the uh, the wicked witch craft kit uh, look at the cute little witch's cat I mean seriously how cute is that you've got the stencils in there which is your witch and your uh, cauldron and your hat and your broom. Oh, there's all sorts in there. And that embossing folder with the spider's web, which is cute. And then you've got this one here. I think this is my favorite, the Haunted House uh, craft kit, which has got the, um, the vampire mouse, which is just the cutest thing ever. That's what I love about this. It's spooky, but it's cute as well. And I've no doubt that your kids will enjoy crafting with this. Maybe you want to create, you know, some little um, trick or treat boxes for them, or maybe, you know, maybe you're um, excited about the fact that you're going to have trick or treaters coming around and you want to be able to pop, you know, the sweets and the candies and whatnot that you've got into little boxes or into little containers uh, to make it extra special for those kids in the neighborhood. This is the way to be able to do it. Um, so much fun. This is the paper pad that you're going to get to double sided. And you'll notice the papers that you're um, seeing here are the same as the ones that um, Debbie was using just in six by six size. It's actually this one here uh, that Debbie was using just there. And you can see that sort of um, um, faux emboss there around the, uh, the actual outside, the distressed edges, which is super cool. That is available in the bundle that I'm showing you right now. A lot of people have bought the bundle and then added more into their baskets as well, because that is available individually too. The price of the bundle is £27.97 or $36.64 if you are a Platinum member. Uh, don't forget as well, if you're a US viewer, our uh, big US warehouse clearance show this afternoon, one o'clock Eastern, all the deals are now live on the website. Look out for the orange stickers, uh, £50 free shipping as well, worth bearing in mind. It's all, um, oh, what? Oh, I'm on the front of the website in my waistcoat, apparently, in, me, in the US. Don't let that put you off. Get past that picture and then hit the deals. Seriously, Johnny's just gone. It's like a firewall. Get past that, go, ah, it's Ben in his waistcoat. And then you'll be like, ah, oh, lovely deals, lovely deals. Right, uh, let's get going uh, and see the next part. No questions come through, which is good. Uh, if you do need to stop or hear anything again, then do let me know and I will um, ask Debbie to repeat or stop. But I think we're good to carry on, Debbie. We are 
Yeah, I like to keep, sometimes I like to keep certain projects nice and simple so yeah. you can uh, craft along. Uh, but we're going to use the oval dies to create the aperture. I've got my embossing folder because I did say that you could keep them plain if you wanted to, but I want to create an extra little bit with the embossing folder. But to do that, I need to get, <clears throat> and this is, this is the only thing that, uh, this is the best way I'm going to describe this. If you emboss and then die cut over the top of emboss, you're going to flatten your embossing. So uh, we're going to yeah. do it a different way. We're going to do it the way to enhance the emboss because if you if you emboss those panels right now, layer the dies over the top and cut out your aperture, running this through the Gemini will flatten that emboss detail and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you a little cheats way of how you can do it and it involves using your dotty tape pen. Uh, so I am going to put these panels into place but with the tiniest amount of glue. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit at the top and the bottom. Now, if you haven't got dotty tape pens, you could do this, Ben, with a bit of low-tack tape. Okay. And you just hold it down just to the top. of. I don't want it to move when I'm popping me, me frames in. Uh, sorry, me, uh, I've, nesting dies. Nesting dies, that's the way I'm going to go with. But I just want to place them into situ, line them all up. So you're literally looking for the top line to line all the way along there. Mm. So it makes for a nice and neater finish. And the same on your panel. So again, I'm just going to pop this into place. And even though it's going to go through the Gemini, and we know it's a powerful machine, we know that uh, it is um, a tape, because I've only put a little bit on, I can actually get away with that. So they're all like nice, nice and even now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the two... So I've gone for the oval stitch. If you've got a circle, you can use a circle. If you've got a square, you can use a square. If you haven't got any nesting dies, you could simply do this by... Uh, a craft knife and a ruler and create oh, okay. your own aperture if you want to. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted to create an oval shape with this. So I've gone for the largest of the, t the, the largest two on the pack. So, but I'm not going to use the largest. I'm using the inner part because okay. I'm going to create a little frame. A bit similar to what I did this morning, if you caught the wake up call show. I did something very similar. But I need to hold that down into place. So I'm going to bring in some low tack tape. I'm going to flatten that over the top and then I'm going to just position it where it's in the centre. So I'm not going over to these two side flaps, it's in the centre of where those three central panels are. And I'm just going to hold it down with a little bit and I'm putting the majority of the tape on the inside because that's the bit that's going to cut away. So we're going to run that through our Gemini. Now you can do this, mm, I'll probably use my larger plates. You could do it on your, uh, on your smaller ones but I'm going to use my larger ones just for the sake of... Um, I'm not going to ruin any of my cardstock with that. So, pop that on. It's a thin metal die, so it's your normal combination for a thin metal die. Let's pop that on. Keep your plates nice and flush when you're going through your machine, and not like I normally do, Ben. Uh -huh. uh, and then just run that through your machine. And that will cut through the aperture part. It'll cut through the cardstock, it'll also cut through the paper as well. And it'll create that aperture. And then we'll take off the pieces, and then we'll emboss them. That way, I'm not losing any of the embossed detail with the embossing folder that comes in your collection. Um, and for me, is the best way to do it, the only way that I can do it um, without taking away from that detail. So I'm just going to take my time taking off the low tack tape. Okay. And run that through. Uh, whilst you're doing that, I must say hi to, to uh, Jane, who's come back. So Jane was with us, but she won't be back with us, I don't think, on the craft long. She says, uh, we had tech issues. Um, so I think she's going to craft along in the background. It's a shame we couldn't chat to you, oh, Jane, after all that. Oh, I know. I'm right looking forward to no. it. No. Um, but those tech gremlins have sadly uh, invaded Somerset. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, we, we won't be able to speak to Jane, but hopefully we'll see her project at the end. Hi to and Lisa. Do you know, it's the first time well. I've had a guest for a Isn't long it? time and I've I crafted along. I literally yeah. said the same to George just, just before we started the show. I said, oh, it would be so nice to have a guest. Yeah. Um, Typical, isn't it? Typical. 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 Do you know what, Ben? I won't be throwing that away. I'll no. find another use for that. That's like a little bit of a bumblebee bee kind of, yeah. Doesn't yeah, it look like a bumblebee? Thinking. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So don't be getting rid of that. Keep hold of that for maybe another project. Mm -hmm. But what we want to do now is lift these off. So this is why that repositional, and I say repositional, it's not really repositional. The dotty tape pen is probably the best one. If you used a solid tape pen, you won't get them off. Uh, so don't use your, don't use your solid one. Uh, but what we're going to do now is just take those off gently because I want to emboss these panels. And you're probably thinking, what size of this card, Debbie? How on earth are you going to get your full embossing? But we can do a bit mm. of double embossing, so uh, it doesn't okay. matter. Uh, I'm just going to now place the... I'll do the start with the smaller ones. I'm going to place those in. 
and then we're going to run those through. It's a standard embossing folder, so it's just your two clear plates for your Gemini, uh, and run those through, and we'll emboss that detail. So again, just push that through, and then we'll come back to those in a second. For those of you who got the, um, the kits that have got the embossing folder in each one of the kits, you can yeah. actually do this in one fell swoop by using both your embossing folders. One at the top, one at the bottom, yeah. and dusted. So you could actually get away with doing that. But it's well worth doing it because the, the embossing feature on these is just phenomenal. Although I think <laughs> super strong, it's ripped a bit of my paper, but we'll get away with that one. Uh, so I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. So again, you're just going to pop that in. Now I am going to do it at the top and then I'm going to go back and just emboss that bottom piece for those of you who haven't got the kits yeah. with the three multi-layers of embossing. And again, just going to come in. I'm going to do a little bit of distressing with those embossing as well because the embossed detail is lovely, but I want to add a little bit extra texture to it. So we're actually going to um, add a little bit of ink over the top. Now I'm just going to take this off gently because the power of my Gemini, my goodness me, that's a super strong Gemini, uh, I'm just going to emboss that bottom detail just by turning it round. Yeah. Um, I'll pop it in that way because I can get away with doing that because I don't want to. I don't want to flatten this, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a tail end kind of thing. Now, if you're using your larger plates, you'll be able to do this a little bit easier, but you can do it with your smaller plates as well. So again, it's just finishing off that bottom piece that we missed. If I just take that off, you'll see that it's done the embossed detail onto the bottom. So you've got your full panel. And I'm going to take my time taking this off. Just bear with me a minute, uh, Ben. That's did right. we have um, did we have some of the pumpkin on this show? The pumpkin centura pearl produced? Uh, we do have the pumpkin centura pearl, yeah. Yeah, on so the you show. could. You could do this with your centura pearl. Because mm. I'm embossing paper. This is a paper that's in the kit. But you could emboss the... Uh, and do exactly the same, but you could emboss with that. Uh, and that'll give you a different look as well. It'll give you... Because uh, it's a really rich pumpkin-y, orangey colour and it really is lovely and you could do the same what I'm going to do with the water reactive ink over the top of it because you can distress over the top as well so that's that's another option that you could do and that way you cut your paper in your that your box will last a little bit longer oh that's a yeah, nice idea Make yeah it will go a bit further yeah go that little bit further yeah so I'm just going to repeat that again Ben I'm just going to take it up to the very edge just want that little tiny bit that's missing that's not being embossed. Mm. And again, push your embossing folder out at the other end if you're only got, you're working with a smaller plate in your larger Gemini. Um, and that way, it's just gonna take that little bit at the bottom, because this is a bigger style card. This is a fat four by six, I think this one is in the box. I think it's four by six. Um, and obviously the style of the card that I've chosen is seven by seven. So you just need to be, think, think about it when you're, when you're doing this little bit. But again, I'm just gonna take my time taking it out of the embossing folder. Um, must say hi to Susan who's joined us from Las Vegas. Says a little late as I got up at midnight to shop the warehouse sale to get what I wanted. Oh Lord, what an addiction. <laughs> um, there's loads on there. Uh, Astrid says I have three family weddings coming up in the next few weeks. I think I'm going to be using this craft along with different papers for my cards. <laughs> That's such a great idea because obviously this is obviously Halloween themed, but the whole shape of the card, um, Debbie, will we, we'll, yeah, be able to use it for a whole host of different oh, things. Oh yeah, absolutely. You, really? Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly this this style of card you can take into any of your crafting uh, collections uh, and create. Um, but I just thought it made a really cute element with the uh, for the craft along one. Now I've taken the water reactive using one of our uh, ink applicators, uh, and I'm just touching over. It gives it again that it, it, it enhances that detail of that spider's web yeah. that's in that embossing. And I'm only tickling over the edge of it. I'm not going too mad. Because uh, I don't want to, I don't want to strip away from the orange either. But I just want to give it that grungy, distressed, spooky little look yeah. over the top of the embossing. And I'm going to do that on all spooky. of these pieces. Um, we had that piece that you cut out a minute ago that looked like a bee. I don't. I mean, I'm enjoying this. I didn't ask for jokes today, so don't blame me. But I'm enjoying <laughs> the fact that you're sending me in jokes. So thank you. But, uh, Debbie says, Ben, what do you call a group of bumblebees waiting outside of a pub? Um. Don't know. A barbecue. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a bar and there's bees and there's a queue. A barbecue. That one's in the book. Uh, <laughs> um, 
And Jane just said, it's a shame uh, Janie was going to join us on the craft line. So I was looking forward to chatting to you both. Well, you just have to keep sending in comments and we'll, we'll chat away to, uh, to each other on the, uh, on the socials, of course, as well. Um, but yeah, what a shame. Technical it is a gremlins. shame. So they're a bit distressed. Yeah. I'm just going to just tickle over the edge like so. Um, and then I'm just going to bring in, do you know that piece that we had for the back and oh, I said yes. about distressing the rest? I just want to bring it into line with here. So I'm just going to literally tickle over the edges okay. using the jet black water reactive. Mm -hmm. And I'm tickling around those edges just to distress and to bring it into line. Bit gr it, it almost grungifies mm. it, but it looks Ooh, really... Great word. Yeah, grungify, yeah. yeah. No, but it just then ties it all up. Yeah. So it looks like it's matching again um, with the uh, with the theme because I just ch chip chopped away. Uh, but that is uh, the main part of the card. So that's going to sit... And we'll, we'll get these stuck down now, Ben, while uh -huh. we've got... Because we're going to just do with the rest and we'll, we'll, we'll have a little pause in a second. Yeah. Just to catch up because we're going to do some stamping, some colouring, some die cutting and then some composing of putting our cards together too. Amazing. So there's a fair few elements still to do, but I think mm. we're fairly, I think we're okay. I think we're good for time, aren't we? I think we're okay. I think we're yeah. going to be uh, fine. It's always a tricky one doing the craft alongs. I always time myself with the projects that I make. Um, not that I'm slightly worried about tomorrow, but... Um, cause I've got oh yeah, we've got another one tomorrow, tomorrow we? Yes, we have, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I think we should be okay. It'll be fine. I, th I think we should be okay. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to now stick these panels back in. Now, bearing in mind, make sure you've got it in the right way around. So I've just, before I stuck it down, um, I've put them back into place uh, so you can see. Yes. Because the way that you've cut them, it might be that, so if I just for example, you saw that the other way around, it doesn't fit because that depends on where you've put your, uh, your aperture. But I'm just going to stick these back in. I want this to sit up close to where I've cut it out so that I'm not taking away from the frame around the outside. So again, I'm just going to pop on some, uh, I'm going to use, oh God, I keep, stop calling it wiggle glue. Wet glue. Wiggle glue. Wiggle glue. Me all purpose. I think I'm trying to set a new name off with me chunky glue. Now I'm getting this a wiggle glue. It's the all purpose. The more you say it. I know. Uh, the more people will search for it and the more I feel that I know. Uh, wiggly I know. glue will uh, will pop up in the search bar. It's you because they can wiggle around. It can, no, I know. It wiggle wiggles, doesn't it? It makes so, sense. Yeah, it makes sense. To and me, your, it makes you, sense. You've got your wibbly wobbly knife as well, haven't you? Oh, my days. <laughs> I know. I really, I really do need to think about what I'm saying. But I, I give everything a little nickname to make yeah. it easy for me to... Um, I think it's cute. Yeah, well... Mm. Some would say cute, Ben. I don't think everybody agree with you there. <laughs> no, I think I think a lot of people will also have their own names for of course they will, crafty yeah. items. Yeah, they will yeah. do. I remember. I think it was the Alison who came up and did um, the. She came and did a few demos for us from the the store down oh, in Newsham. Yes. Yeah. I think she called it full fat glue, didn't she? When I called it chalky glue, she called it full fat. We all have little affectionate names for them. Yeah. Um, but again, I'm just wanting to make sure. Now you can pull that back so you can see if you've got that frame right. Mm -hmm. I want to leave a bit of a gap here because obviously this is my panel. So I've just gone up to that very edge of where we cut out and the same there as well. So again, again, I'm just going to do the same and pop in those two pieces back in. Yeah. And then we'll cut the frame that goes out and then we'll take a we'll take a we'll take a, bro yeah. a breather. A breather. A breather. Do let us know by the way. I'm interested now we started this conversation if you have your own name for you know a particular crafty item. Maybe you've got another name for your pokey tool or I don't <laughs> know. Maybe you've got a name for your machine. Whatever machine you got. Oh maybe, yeah, what do you call your Gemini? Maybe you call your Gemini, I don't know, maybe you Jeff the Gemini or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why that came into my head straight away. Um, but yeah, do let us know on the... Uh... I've lost a bit. What? I, I've lost a bit. Do you know what, though? I quite like that. I quite like that. I think I like that grungy look, so I'm yeah. not worried. I think I must... When I was... Um, I'm bossing, distressing. I think I might have pulled a little bit. Yeah, I think I think I think you're right, Johnny. I think I was a little bit heavy-handed, but I quite like that. It gives it a nice little quirk. So that's your panels put in. While we've got as panels, I'm going to put these two back in as well. So again, choice of glue. It's entirely up to you. You can use your tape pen, uh, finger lift tape, your glue choice. It's that's why I put all the glues down when I uh, write a list. It's entirely up to you what you use. Uh, but I just want to get these into place. And the thing I love about the, the all-purpose glue is if you do get a little bit of excess glue, you've got time to rub it off and get oh, rid yeah. of it so it doesn't stay wet. So again, I'm just going to finish that with that side as well. And you can see that's starting to come together now. And this is just the card base. 
um, with the black cardstock and the um, paper pattern paper and uh, p the cardstock that's in the Halloween box. Do you um, get a lot of trick or treaters coming around your house at Halloween, or is it well, not big in your area? Well. Oh. <laughs> oh. No so, is the answer. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, I turn the lights off. <laughs> Some people don't like off. it. However, last year I yeah. didn't. I got into the spirit. Mm. My granddaughter loved it, dressed as Spider Man as she does. Yes. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I did get into the spirit last year. But normally, mm. of the old years, prior to the grandkids, um, I used to sit it dark. <laughs> <laughs> Draw the curtain, sit it dark, not answer. Well, I'm such a, I'm such a scrooge, aren't I, on Halloween? No, that. you don't have to like it, do you? Good, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the card base done, but I just want to add a little bit of a frame. It, it, it looks nice with the aperture, but using those two dies that I talked about, we're going to create a frame using some of the spare black cardstock that I had from the beginning, and I'm going to create a little bit of a frame. You could do this with your circular one if you've gone for it circular or it's square. You could do exactly the same. The oval slightly different because you've got chunkier ends yeah so it, it creates a nice oval uh, p feel to it but again I'm just going to hold those two down we're going to trim that out and let's just trim that out no we're not we're going to die cut it Debbie. die, we're cut, die it, cut it not trim it uh, we're not going to trim it at all and um, we're going to run that through and that will create the little frame that's going to sit around the aperture make it really nice and neat it gives it that finishing touch which is what as always I like a nice neat finish I like it all tidy I like things that are tidy do you Ben? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. More so, more so now since I've been with my wife for the last twenty years. She's very, <laughs> very tidy. So I feel I have to like things that are tidy now because if I don't, then I get told off. So uh, no, I like, I like tidy. Yeah, like tidy is nice. It yeah. just and it just, it's like I said, it just it finishes things off for yeah. yeah. So let's bring that panel back in, and we're going to stick that down. We're going to do it while it's flat and while it's dry. Uh, so, but you, li you literally will now create the perfect frame that fits around the aperture. So we're going to stick that on. I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to switch to glue. I'm going to switch to me tacky glue for this one, uh, Ben. Uh -huh. And again, I'm just going to go in and pop the glue all the way around. You could be using your tape pen if you want, but. Um, I'm going to use my precision bottle. And again, because it's a wetter glue, it gives me a bit of time to get it into place. Just make sure I haven't got any of that on my card. And then again, I'm just going to place it over the top and I'm just going to give it that little bit of a wiggle to get yeah. it into place. This is looking brilliant. There we go. And I'm just going to stick that down. So, Ben, I think what we're going to do is. Yeah. In fact, no, we'll construct Take a little, it. We'll put oh. it together. Yeah. We'll put it together. We'll, okay. we'll put the card base together. I'm just going to wiggle those bits in because I don't know what's happened there, but. Got a little bit of OTT with me uh, oval. Let's get that in. We'll get it squished down. Keep it while it's flattened. You want to do it while it's flat. So I'm going to hold that into place so it grabs hold of it. So if you could just give me a second, then we'll come back to this in a minute. Okay. Uh, I'm just holding it into place. Whilst with you're me glue. holding that down, uh, Mary Lee's message to say, um, I used to create a haunted house just in my living room for oh. the little ones. Uh, I even dressed in a costume myself. Not oh. sure who enjoyed it more. <laughs> I've um, over the like last few years obviously got into like Halloween more because the kids enjoy it and the trick or treating and whatnot. George, I think, is sort of out the other side of it now. I don't think he'll come with us this year. You're George, you're gorgeous, George. My, well, uh, gorgeous, George, definitely. George, do you still get trick or treating? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he still goes. He still goes. Uh, my George is he's the other side of it. Daisy's still um, she's still up for it. I don't mind trick. I don't mind trick or treaters as long as they come on the day. I ate it when they turn no, up like three I know. days before. No, I know. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. Some, of them, some of them around our end, yeah. they come too early. I know. Far too early. Yeah, what are you doing? Exactly. There's a, there's a reason why it's yes. called trick or treat, and it's on a certain a certain time, isn't it? It's exactly not, right. Um, yeah, exactly. And if you're going to come to the door, make an effort with your costume <laughs> as well. Don't just turn up, you know. Oh, I've had a group of lads turn up once before. We, uh, uh, I'm not going to lie, scared the bejeebies out of me. Oh. Because it was all the, do you know, do you know Slipknot, the band? Oh, yeah. They were Slipknot, ma Slipknot ma uh, masks. It wasn't actually Slipknot. No, it wasn't actually Slipknot. It wasn't Slipknot. It wasn't Slipknot. It wasn't Slipknot. But they had Slipknot mm. masks on. I'm not kidding. That's, no. you know, you can understand why, one of the reasons why I do put, uh, yeah. close the blinds and yeah. uh, keep, keep the door Batting locked the and in, the, in the dark, because yeah. that scared me. I'm not going to mm. lie. Fancy up me and my daughter that. We're like, Pfft. and they were only, it were a bunch of lads. Not kiddies. Mm. A bunch of lads. Um, no, thank you. Do you know what? Uh, cute little witches, uh, you know, witches' cats, dogs dressed as pumpkins, 
that's the kind of thing <laughs> I look forward to. But we normally go out, you see, so what we have to do is leave the, <laughs> leave the sweets on the doorstep for the kids oh, to come and get, you yeah, see. Because yeah, yeah. again, George won't answer the door because he's too busy on his computer, he won't hear. And of course, you sort of leave a little note saying, oh, you know, don't take more than two, otherwise you'll be doomed. <laughs> and you come back and like, the whole thing's been absolutely decimated. But uh, it's all good fun, isn't it? It's all good fun. It is. Now, what we're going to do, uh, just to finish that off, while that's all set in the glue, just pop in a little bit of red liner tape. It's entirely up to you again, your choice of glue. Uh, but I'm just going to put a little bit of red liner tape just down one end of that half, half an inch tab. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my red liner tape off and we're going to connect it. Make sure I've got my pumpkins right way around. That'll do. Uh, and we're going to connect it to the very edge. So you collect it up to the very edge of the card. And then just seal that. And you've got the basis of your card yeah. ready to add all the extra elements that are going to come in there. So, that being said, I think we can have a little bit of a pause, a little yep. bit of a breather. And we'll come back to the next bits because what we're going to do is... It's all right there. <laughs> I can see, I can see. Uh, we're going to do the rest of the bits. We're going to start cutting out some of the die cut elements from the box. We're going to do some stamping, a bit of colouring as well. And then we're going to put it all together so it all ties in perfectly. Um, loving the craft along so far. Again, let us know if you've got any questions, if you need any repeats. I'm just getting sent jokes today and I've not asked for them. So, th but thank you. I'll just quickly read them out. I don't know why you're sending me jokes, but I love them. Astrid says, Ben, <laughs> my girlfriend told me to take the spider out instead of killing it. We went and had some drinks. Cool guy, wants to be a web developer. <laughs> to get out. That was a good one. Sandra Dundas, hello Sandra, says, Ben, why, why, why did Noah keep his fish on deck? Um, why did Noah keep his fish on deck? No idea. Because he wanted to build a multi-story carp arc. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll leave you with this one before we give you time to check out your baskets uh, from Susie what kind of noise does a witch's vehicle make um no idea broom broom <laughs> broom broom <laughs> oh dear Keep <laughs> Johnny, I won't repeat what he just said. Uh, let's give you the opportunity to check out your baskets, get any questions in. Uh, don't forget, you can buy this amazing Halloween collection, uh, which we've already showed you. You've got the inks, you've got the cardstock, the angel collection is still available for you as well. Whatever you've got in your baskets now, get it checked out. We'll come back with part two of the craft along. That's funny. Uh, in just a few moments' time. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Everyone backstage is amazing. You probably know this because we talk about them all the time, but I have to give a big shout out to Jake. From the minute he walks in the door, he has got the hugest smile, but he's just brilliant. He's always there, he's always on the ball, asking what, I, and, and they all are, but Jake is just, he's a cheeky little chappy, I think is why I like him. Constantly asking if we've got everything we need, fetching it for us if we need them. Um, everyone laughs at me, because my main thing when Jake's in is, Jake! He gets me whatever I want, so if I need anything from the library, he goes, gets me it. We, we, you know, we rummage through the boxes together, we make sure that I've got everything I need. Um, and he always does it with a smile. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. 
We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You didn't it was have better to than you are, know when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. Hey, everybody come surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Uh, welcome back. No questions coming through, so hopefully you're all good. Just one comment from Busy Lizzie who says, uh, following on from Craig's guising song, when I was little, we had a tradition on Halloween. We stood by the fridge and said, ice cream, ice cream, oh so white, come to us this magic night. I was about five and believed it for ages. I didn't realise my dad had sneaked it in the fridge when we weren't looking. Uh, I thought it was a real spooky magic. Uh, if I hadn't read the second part of that message, Busy Lizzie, I would have done exactly the same and gone home and sang to my fridge this evening to get free ice cream. But uh, a lovely story. And again, this is the kind of collection, I think, that uh, helps you get in the mood for Halloween, takes you back to you know, the times when maybe you went out uh, Halloween in yourself or you know, taking the kids or the grandkids with you. Um, and this is such a lovely project. I know we've got so much to do, so we're going to get straight back to it this collection here is not the collection that debbie is going to be um crafting with of course the box sold out but it is a separate collection which i'll go through in more detail uh, when we get a chance but we must head back because um we've got a lot to do debbie haven't we in the last hour oh, we yes we've still got a fair bit to do so um i'm just taking off now from the original box um i'm taking off some of the dies that i'm going to use so i'm going to use the uh, witch and the broomstick Oops, yep. so Daisy, I'm mate. i've just knocked that one over uh, so we've got the Witch of the Broomstick, the Tombstone, the Cat, the Bats, the Spiders, the Pumpkin. And we're going to do a few multiple cuts of this. So do the spare bits of black card that we had earlier. We're going to put those to use. So let us pop all of these pieces on and get all our die cut elements uh, sorted. And this will be a personal choice. I think it'll depend on how many things you want to put on there. Um, I'm going with one witch and one broomstick. Uh -huh. I'm going to have a few bats. I'm going to have one pussycat. Scary pussycat. I'm going to have a few tombstones. So I'm going to cut those a, a few times. Uh, but for now, we're just going to cut out the main ones. Rather than holding that down with a little bit of low tack tape, I'm actually going to just put my um, <clears throat> magnetic into place and then run those through. So that saves me time, not having to use my low tack tape just reversing and switching the plates around because you can that's yep. the thing so i've got the shims in the right place the right you know it doesn't matter what order you put them in to a certain extent don't want to be cutting into your magnetic shim. oh yeah don't uh, so don't <laughs> don't take everything that i just said for granted there uh, but when you take off now you've got your elements cut so i want a few spiders i want a few bats so that's me little oh there look me witch with a look with a broomstick she's going to sit on there bum perched on one end <laughs> It's like the Wizard of Oz one, that, isn't it? it you know what it reminds me of yeah. a, um, a, a bit? Is, um, it reminds me a little bit of Bewitched. Yes. Remember that TV show? Yes, Even it though does. she was a nice witch, wasn't she? She Samantha? was the nice witch, yes. She was a nice witch. No, now, I'm, uh, I'm just going to use a little bit more black matte cardstock. So uh -huh. I'm bring in a little bit more because I want to cut a few more. In fact, do you know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use some of this that I had. I'm going to use... Oh, my tombstone's there. <clears throat> Like I said, it's a personal preference. Um, <laughs> pop that there. And, uh, <laughs> dear Johnny. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> oh, you tombstone. don't expect someone to say that. Well, <laughs> there's my tombstone. tombstone. Yeah, you don't expect to hear that, do you, regularly <laughs> on, a, on a craft show? <laughs> Not at all. Oh, there's my tombstone. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to pop those on because I want a few more bats and a few more spiders. Yeah. And where's me tombstone? There you go. <laughs> she said it again. Where's my tombstone? <laughs> And then we're going to run that through. Now, like I said, this will be your personal choice. How many do you want to pop on there? Do you want to go excessive? Do you want to go less? It's entirely up to you. This is your craft along project. 
I've just given you the card style. Um, and then that, the, the actual decoration, I think, is going to be your personal choice and your personal preference. So, again, let's just take all those off. Um, I think I'm going to go in with... I'm going to have... Oh, God, them spiders every time. <laughs> look at them. They look so real. Are you uh, real. arachnophobic? I don't like them. I just don't like them at all. I absolutely freak out. Ah. Uh. What's he saying? Uh, George had a spider Ooh. fall. Is this a joke? Ooh. He Ooh. had a spider fall on his face whilst he was in bed the other oh, night. Oh, my God. He didn't know what it was and had to get his phone out to see what it was. Was it a big one? Can you imagine? Oh, I wouldn't like that at all. At um, all. Um, I'm not going to lie. I think, um, I think I'd have screamed. I think I'd have screamed. Um... Oh. Dear me. They do Dear say, me, don't they, though, over the course of your lifetime, you do swallow a certain amount of... Oh, um... my God, don't be telling me that. OK, I won't say what I was going to say. Don't then. say that. Is that true? And I do snore with my mouth open. I well, say you... snow. I do gentle snoring. The kids would not agree with me. They'd say I snow like... But I don't. Hmm. I don't I do not do a Debbie Fisher snore. Oh, but Debbie Fisher, you can, oh, hear, you can hear her. She's... I mean, who would believe that beautiful lady <laughs> could ah. make such noises at night? Yeah. <laughs> Very noisy. Uh, but then the spider thing, if you think about because you don't even oh need to be snoring, God. do you? Because at night you're going to sleep with your mouth open sometimes. <laughs> so you're going to get the odd little oh. creepy crawly crawling, aren't you? Oh, no, you please, know. Good no. Good bit of protein. A what? In? Good bit of protein. It's fine. Are they free? Calorie? Same wise? I Are don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, no. I just, I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> ben, I don't want to think about that at all. Poor George, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Poor George. That is terrifying. What did you do, George? Oh, he said he couldn't get to sleep for another hour after it happened. I don't think I'd have gone back to sleep, but I'd gone in my craft room. No way would I have been able to sleep after that. <laughs> I actually saw one living in the corner of my bedroom, mm. and it was a big one. And I thought, oh, God, no, I can't. And do you know when you look at it, and then it seems to just grow in size the more yeah. you look at it. And I thought, do you know what, Ben? No, I can't sleep with that. So I got the Hoover out and hoovered it. Uh, and then did you put it out? Then I went to sleep. Oh, then you went to sleep. Oh, yes, of course I put it out. Yeah. I went straight outside and put yeah. it out. It bin, I thought, because otherwise it's going to come back and kill me. I always try and put them out, and I don't... I come back and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> sort of spider, you wasn't know, it? You know, because the thing is... No, I always think that. So it's like like when you flush them down the toilet or out like that. Oh, no, yeah. because I, I keep thinking, no, they're going to come back and get you. And they're going to grow in size. I watch too many horror movies. That's the problem. Have you seen arachnophobia? Oh, <laughs> no. No, you I, haven't. I did. I, I did oh. about. Uh, well, such first a good ten movie. minutes. Oh, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> I have to turn it off because it's just. It's not so for good. Me. That is so good. It's not good. for me. <laughs> oh dear, I'm just cutting a few more out. I've got. I think I've got enough spiders. I think I've got enough bats. Um, I just want a couple more. I'm saying it, saying it again. I just need a couple more tombstones. Couple more tombstones. Again, this is just your personal preference. That's the beautiful thing about having a mini, though two minute job um, and they fit through there absolutely perfectly yeah. now my pumpkins i realized i didn't want a black pumpkin so we're going to turn around in a second we're going to i think i'm going to stop with my tombstones there yeah i'm going to stop with those got all my little bits and bobs that i need um but i'm going to bring in the two uh, pumpkin and we're gonna we're gonna die cut um i'm gonna die cut two of these okay. um when i can remember what i did with my bit of oh wait see here it's on floor it's not um, good on there. Just whilst you're cutting that, Rhonda's just messaged with a funny story. She says, two years ago on Halloween, I put a realistic looking black plastic spider on my hubby's pillow <gasps> and then forgot about it. The oh. next morning, I heard him in the bathroom yelling. He had long hair and I found him in the bathroom, bent over, beating his head. He said, OMG, <laughs> please tell me this isn't real. Now, mind you, I'd completely forgotten about the spider. As soon as I saw it, though, I could barely contain myself. <laughs> he got it stuck in his hair, obviously. That oh is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And Heather says, my nephew took some of my paper spiders and hid them in a roll of toilet paper. So when you pulled it, spiders fell out. Oh. You could always tell he was in the bathroom. <laughs> oh my God. That, I'm going to do that in my house this Halloween. You are not. I am. I am. Oh wow. That's a great idea, Heather. I love that. 
That is terrifying, not gonna lie. That is terrifying. Oh, uh, right, so I'm right. gonna move all my <clears throat> realistic spiders. So funny. I hope it's not triggering you, George. I'm gonna move all those out of the way. Let's push them all to the top. So we'll we'll come back to these in a bit. But I've got my two little pumpkins. Now before we start colouring, I have got oh I'm so sorry, I keep moving me me um I think it's got no legs on it. Underneath it's it's slippy slidey, look at it, it's moving everywhere. Oh, don't um, another one. No, it's fine. Well oh. it'll be fine. It's this mat. I swear they put it on here for just for me. Mm. Um but we're gonna do a little bit of stamping because in this collection and in your um in your box you will find, and I've just realised I've left mine in my box. <clears throat> just bear with me, Ben. We've got some lovely stamps in here. So I'm just gonna go into my box. Uh, <clears throat> yours won't look like this. Mine's uh -huh. just full of uh, full of all of them and I've even got my little nesting dies in there. Mm -hmm. Let's get the stamp set out because the stamp set is uh, a cute little and I absolutely love him. I love the pumpkin one, the yeah, mouse. The I think mouse this again is, so is down to you. Let's let's have a think which one you want to, want to use. I'm going to come back to those in a second because uh -huh. what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with my pumpkin but we're going to have that lovely bunny and we're going to stamp him out. Now, again, on all of these, you do have uh, some dies that have got matching dies to be able to cut out and create. Those that you haven't, you're going to do a bit of fussy cutting, and that's what we're going to do with this one. So I'm going to bring in my stamping platform, she says, once you can pick it up. There we go. Um, and I'm going to stamp my little image. Don't need that much cardstock. Uh, Nina cardstock, multi-purpose cardstock, the choice is yours. I am going to be using some uh, tri-blends with this. So I'm just going to hold my magnets down just to make sure that if I don't get the, the stamp the first time round, it's okay. Uh, but we're going to stamp him up. Uh -huh. I am using, like I said, alcohol markers. So I am going to use the right ink pad for the alcohol markers. Yep. And we're going to stamp my little bunny. Got those on the show as well for you, the alcohol proof ink pads. Perfect. It's almost like we planned it. Absolutely. <laughs> And I'm going to stamp up my little image. So let's just stamp. Lovely thing about the platform, and I'm not sure if we've got them in stock, but if you have, it's just what we call our hero tool. Because I'm not the, I'm not saying not the best stamper, but I'm, um, I struggle with stamping sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, just due to dexterity problems. So it's a perfect tool for me to have. Yeah. In terms of if I have missed an area, I can go back in and re-stamp. It is in stock on the website. Perfect. Good news. So I'm just going to make sure, have I missed an area? Do you know what? I might need to move that out of the way because I keep missing that end. Let's pop him back in. Legs, feet, all in. <laughs> just checking. Just checking. Let's make sure. There we go. There oh, the little go. Bit, oh, do you know, Debbie? Right. Honestly, that's the brilliant thing about this platform, though. If you have missed, it doesn't matter because you go, you keep on going until yeah, you get it yeah. right. And there's no ghosting or anything because it's no ghosting. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't realise I said that then. Uh, I did really. <laughs> Not. Um, but again, I'm just going to take him out now. Before I do any fussy cutting. If you had got a die, obviously die cut first, but we're not, we haven't got the die in this one. It is a, a case of um, I'm going to colour him and then fussy cut it around. So I'm going to use, and I'm going to bring these two in as well. Let me get a bit of scrap paper just underneath. Um, ben, a bit of scrap paper. Yeah. So we're going to do some colouring. And now you're probably thinking, well, how are you going to colour your pumpkin? Now on this pumpkin, there is an embossed detail in there. So if I just try and lift it up, You've got an embossed detail. So I know that I'm going to be able to colour the pumpkins. It's very difficult on white and white. So sorry, but the minute I use my colour, you're going to see that a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to, each, and I've chosen tri-blends. I'm not sure what we've got on the show, but I've chosen some kind of colours that will fit with the... Um, we've got illustrators. Illustrators are yeah. fine, yeah, absolutely. So I've gone with the pale, I've gone with coral, orange, burnt orange and light green for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just so it gives me a little bit of um, colouring scope. I think I'll start with my... Um, yeah, we'll start with the pumpkins. Um, can I just say as well? Yep. Um, I did a craft along with Craig at the back end of last week. Yep. And, um, you know, it was making a card and stuff and measuring and guillotining. And I'd obviously done all of that before, but I'd never really done one with a lot of colouring. And he bullied me into it. <laughs> and I, I coloured this amazing image with the tri blends. And he stepped me through it. OMG. I'll show you it. It's in the green room. I couldn't believe how good my colouring was because of those pens. It's and these me. pens? Because he told me that, he, like, I, I know I'd always follow you guys, but step by step, Tim, 
literally tri blends unbelievable absolutely made me look like a professional i'm certainly yeah. not and for people who are not on you know people maybe just watching us at first time a tri blend is an alcohol pen yeah that's got one color family but in three different shades yeah light medium and dark so that's the orange blend and i know that i've got a light i've got a medium and i've got a dark to gap control blending mm. seamless and effortless it really is effortless uh, so i'm going to color the whole of my uh, pumpkin Oh, I've gone really bright with this Ooh, one. It's lovely, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Uh, but again, I'm just going to colour over that image. I can actually see where me, um, and I can, I can see on my image where the embossed detail is. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is just saturate all of the colour down first. Okay. And then again, I'm going to go in different ways as well, because that's what you can do. Do they call it cross hatching? Uh, where you go the, across. Oh, yeah, yeah. across what? Horizontal and then vertical. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to cover. I want to saturate majority of that on there. No right or wrong way when it comes to this. I'm just starting with the lightest tone. Okay. Oops. And then I'm going to go in with a bit of dark. So I'm going to go and use those lines to create uh, okay. the pumpkin. Whoops, just went slightly off there, but you'll forgive. Yeah. And again, and it just creates the line work. Of there yeah and then I got that was with the dark so I'm gonna go in with the the medium, medium and I'm gonna just offer a little bit just down there yeah and a bit at the bottom and I don't want to color it all you know like I say all but I don't want to color too much um, damage because I want to leave it looking like a, already I can see it <clears throat> looking more realistic yeah so I'm not gonna to go too mad um, and again I'm just gonna go back over with the light and just to blend that in a little bit and soften that a little bit when you're coming down but i am still going to leave areas that i've not gone over to create a little bit more depth so can you see now my panels it's starting to look more realistic yeah yeah i'm gonna put a face in that in a second so we're gonna repeat that with this one so i'm gonna go in a face oh put the face on it yeah i'm gonna put a face in him yes got a pumpkin into it so we're, we're got, and i can't carve him i could oh. do if i had me um craft knife skills that's always uh, a bit of a faff though, isn't it? Carving it's a too pumpkins. much of a faff for me. It's a great oh. idea, but uh, we've got stamps in there that offer that. So yeah. I'm going to use the stamps. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Exactly right. So again, I'm just going to cover the whole of there. I think I've missed a little bit at the top. You could preserve an eye light, so you could leave a little bit of a white, which I think is what I did on the original one, if I remember rightly. Mm. Uh, but you can see it's starting to come together. Again, I'm going to go in with that dark. So down to that dark, use a score line. Oops, I've done it again, Ben. Oh, it's all right. It's because like, every time I move my pen and it lifts off, I've got a little bit. It don't matter. It don't matter. I think we're okay. I'm going to go with that medium tone. And I'm just using a little bit at the bottom, a little bit at the top, and a little bit down the centre. Yeah. So do you enjoy the colouring then last week, Ben? Oh, I loved it. I was terrified before the start. No, I wasn't terrified, but I was a bit apprehensive because I thought I've never really done it before. And it's the one thing that I feel like I've not done on air in a craft long because I thought that I'd be hopeless at it. But... Uh, well, I'll show you afterwards. I, I can't I, wait to see it, actually. I was wowed. Oh, bless you. Um, and just following Craig step by step. And actually, once we'd done, um, you know, we were colouring in a little robin, actually. And by the time we'd done, like, a couple of bits and pieces, I was away with the whole kind of, you know, laying down your lighter colour, then adding your yeah. sort of dark, and then you, then your medium, and then blending it out again with the light. So, no, I, I, I absolutely love them. Love them. They are the fabulous pens. They really are. I'm going to leave that for the alcohol to evaporate and, and get that perfect blend. But like I said, I'm going to put it in a face over the top of that in a second. So I'll just put those to one side because we're going to concentrate on my little uh, bunny here. Mm. Uh, so again, I'm going to... Uh, let's colour the pumpkin. Let's, well, I've got my orange out. Let's colour the pumpkin in. Um, and again, I'm just going to do pretty much exactly the same as what I've just done with my die cut elements. Um, and we are going to be fussy cutting this part out. So if you, um, you know, if you miss little areas, don't worry, it's fine. You can go back to it. Uh, but if you want to craft in real time, you can be doing this with me. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, if you've got the right pens, the right tools, yeah. it's honestly the truth. It makes life so much easier when you've got the right tools. And these are the perfect tools for colouring. All of our Spectrum Noir. It's been a game changer for me in crafting. Yeah. As cliche as that sounds, it really has. Uh, and brought my coloring skills up another level. Well, that's it. And I certainly, um, the next time I do some coloring, I know what pens I'll be reaching for, and it will be these. Yeah. I obviously get asked which are the ones, which ones would you recommend? I probably would always recommend our tri blends first mm. if you've never tried them before. Yeah. Um, before you go into classics, illustrators, and all, all of that, yeah. it's 
a nice introductory level. And obviously we've got the illustrators on the show, which are, so they're dual ended, aren't they? So you've got yes. your fine tip and your brush nib. Yep. And that, but they've, they're obviously one pen, one colour, but then you've got the different blends in each pen, haven't you? So you can, you can <laughs> once you kind of get more confident, I suppose, you can almost yep. move on to those, can't you? Those Absolutely. and the, um, the classiques. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And it, it is a, uh, I mean, I know our Craig's looking forward to it because it's Illustrator show on Sunday, isn't yeah. it, that he's doing, we call him happy. Um, and I know he's looking forward to it because we were talking about it beforehand and he, he said he was really looking forward to that show. Um, because they are fabulous pens. Let's not take away from the tri-blends though. They are, you know, artist quality pens. Yeah. They really are. Um, but again, it's all about just having a play, having a practice um, and until you feel comfortable but again these images are really nice easy images to color they're not overly hard work if that makes any sense yeah and i'm going to just i'm going to stop there because i'm going i'm i don't want to i don't want them to dry out completely i want to get that perfect blend so i'm going to go in with a medium tone and then over with the lighter tone as well let's go back in with that light tone. diane's enjoying this she just says thank you debbie for showing me how to color the pumpkins mine never look good now I think I can make them look better. Yes. Um, yeah. And that, again, it's it's just about a bit of, I said trial and error, but just a, it's just about having a little play with them. Yeah. I, and I mean, I mean that, because I was the same when I first started doing that. And it, but while the ink's wet as well, Ben, you can go back in and add a little bit more while it's still wet. Um, you won't get the same when it's dried. Well, that's the other thing that I learned from Craig. So we were colouring in, um, it was the Robin uh, from the Tis the Season. It was like a die cut. So we were colouring in segments of it and he was sort of saying, well, obviously, you know, we'll do it a segment at a time. Yes. Because if you do it a, a little bit and then go back, it's not going to be wet, is it? So no. the the, do segment the, yeah. by segment, which is what you're doing now. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And again, you can still, even though I'm going back in with that light one, I'm still going to leave a little bit of a, what I call a preserved little highlight, just to, to blend, get that blend again. But again, because I know it's still wet, I can go in and add a little bit more. So that's all you're going to do. And I'm, I'm going to continue doing this, uh, Ben, because I know I, I'm trying to talk and craft at the same time and it's not working. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue to okay. do this. You can be reading some more comments. I will. And like I can that. show you um, some of the other goodies I've got this side as well, if we need. Um, Sandra, I think talking about hiding the spiders in the toilet roll said I just knew that was right up your street Ben my hubby has just shouted through from his office the kitchen table uh, that we should do that to our youngest <laughs> cruel or what I mean cruel but quite <laughs> quite funny I'm definitely gonna do it to my kids on Halloween you know making <laughs> making the whole event quite spooky uh, of course you, you know little things like that uh, and Sylv says see I don't mind these he says a daddy long lead landed on himself's head uh, he grabbed it, thinking it was a loose hair, and he tried to hand it to me. I shrieked and ran away, and then he realised what it was and dispatched it with a slipper. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't mind daddy long legs. I don't mind. I don't know why. It's weird, isn't it? If they're flying around, I can grab it. I will grab it with my hand and chuck it out. Spiders, I can't. I have to get like a bit of paper and a glass or something to chuck them out. <laughs> and if they, do, if they do run at me, like you all know the story about poor Jimmy the spider, or was it Johnny the spider? No, Jimmy the spider in the house, Debbie's favorite pet spider who mm. died a bit of a grisly end. Mm. He was running at me as if he was gonna attack me. So I had to get the shoe um, and dispatch of him, as you would say, um, Sylv. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're on the wall and they don't move, I, I can deal with them. I, I'm sure the people are the same. It's just when they're, running at you and, and, and crawling around and especially if they're falling on your head at night time George, oh, I mean, George I'd, I, honestly seriously. I would have freaked mm. I see one running across uh, I see one running across the living room and I can't settle oh. I just can't settle I, I have to stop until I've got rid it's till it's gone it's got to go it's got to go it has it's got to go vacuum cleaner is a great <laughs> option though I never thought of that before <laughs> get the vacuum cleaner suck it up and then just <laughs> pop it outside yeah absolutely and that's exactly what I would say you know oh my god I, I, I just can't. I can't. I can't function while they're in the house. Mm. I cannot function while they're in the house. I'm just debating what to do with me, me bunny. I think I'm going to use. I forgot to get me brown out, so I think I'm going to go with. Um, shall we go with a gold? No, that's gold brown shades. Let's have a look. Oh, I'll go with Earth Brown Blend. Let's yeah. let's do that. But I'm going to switch to me uh, Tri Blend brush for this one. Okay. And we're, oh no, it's still a bit too dark for me. Is it too dark? Just no, to that'll do. Just to, just to mention as well, whilst uh, Debbie's colouring, don't forget our end of summer sale, which is continuing. I mean, it really is the end of summer now, isn't it? It's finished. Oh, my it's days. autumn. Meteorological autumn and official autumn now. Uh, is it? Yeah. 
Oh. Have you not noticed? I don't know if this is the same where you are, but the temperatures up here have plunged about seven degrees over the course of the last week. Yep. Um, they've gone from about sort of 18, 19 degrees. And uh, yeah, it is, uh, it is chilly, autumnal. Definitely time to be getting out the, the, uh, the jumpers. I was tempted to put the central heating on the other day, but then I uh, realised just how much uh, <laughs> it's going to cost me to do it. So I just stuck another jumper on. Well, um, I've been debating. I was thinking, I'm not going to do it till October. I'm not going to do it till mm. October until last night. Oh my God, I could not get warm. Um, so I cranked it on. Then I saw how much electric uh, electricity, how much gas it used, because I've got one of those smart meters. Oh a my god! A snot meter. Smart. Oh, sm Did you say snot? <laughs> I thought you said I got a snot meter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have not got a snot meter. Thank you so, very much. Depending on how cold it is and how much your nose runs. A, no, 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 <laughs> no. A smart, smart meter. A smart meter. <laughs> so I could see the energy levels that it was uh, using, and I'm like, oh no, blanket back on. I've even asked Craig we got his little I called it his little snuggly snuggly blanket oh he's got um, one of those blankets you can wear isn't he yes mm. yes so he's, t he's told me where I can get it from so I'm uh, gonna be having a little look um, but yeah you so, might want to divulge that information to me as well then yeah absolutely because yeah. um, <clears throat> I need something not gonna lie I need something because it's so cold now and my son's going no he's still sat there with fan on what? little devil he, he likes a fan yeah, I think it's the white noise element, but I was freezing. Mm. My feet were like a block of ice, what? and I've got nobody to warm them up with in bed. We're going to be... Ah! Uh, oh. um, well... No, I know. Can't really help you there. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> TV and wifey hoops it in the yeah. TV world only. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think Laura would have something to say there. I think she'd have something to say. Don't oh, we say yeah. she was feeling cold? We feel cold, I need warming up. <laughs> We're gonna, we have one of those duvets where that you can like, you pop it together. So we, we have, it's like two duvets really. So at the minute we've just got like the, the summer duvet on and then we get, the, that will be coming out. So, no, do you know what I mean though? You get, we have like the summer duvet, which is X amount of tog, and then we get the other one, and we pop we pop it together, so then you get like a thicker a thicker duvet. So that's going to be going on soon, because you know as much as there is somebody else in in my bed, I don't get you know get cuddles. Oh. Oh. I was going to say, if I'd share, you'd get some cuddles, but that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> and I hope, to, I hope to goodness, I hope to goodness she's not watching, is oh. all I'm going to say. Uh, <laughs> but yes, no, I wouldn't, I would leave you, leave you nice and warm. <laughs> I, I would wrap you up nice and warm. I could you up nice and warm. <laughs> We'd keep each other warm. We would. We'd keep each other warm. You should get a lecky blanket. Yeah. Uh, Corinne's got a what? A heated jacket. What, a she heated wears in bed? jacket, producer Johnny. Oh, she worked in the studio. They Are you sell that. Me? They sell those at that other place, don't they? The heated jackets. Yeah, they're like you, you charge them up, don't you, on a USB or whatever. Or you, you can you can you can attach them to like a um, a battery operated, yeah, like a power bank. So your ah. jacket jacket warms you up as you go. Mm. I didn't know about a heated jacket. That sounds a bit posh, doesn't it? No, isn't it? Eh? I need one of those, oh. won't I? Cause, well, uh, how the other half live, eh? Whoa. I know. Yeah. I know. Goodness me. Uh, funny enough, Terry Tom says, you two need heated jackets uh, s sold on the Rainforest website. Apparently. Oh. All my kids have one. If I get you for Secret Santa, Debbie, I'll get you one. Oh. As long as it's not over 20 quid. Is that what we're doing? 20 pound one? Isn't it normally 20 quid? Secret? Yeah, it's 20 quid, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 20 quid, because <laughs> I, I, sock I got my socks with my face on <laughs> whilst Johnny that. was opening up a car with 20 quid in it, whilst uh, John was opening up cans of beer. I got my uh, socks with my face on. Did make me laugh. Yeah. Did make me chuckle that. Uh, Joe, Joe got, got you those, didn't, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't get Joe. That Joe then got the same, but someone else got Joe exactly the same. Yeah, which cracked me up because his little face. <laughs> he must have been talking to someone. Like he must. <laughs> and they have thought the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So funny. They were, yeah. So funny. Um, Cindy says, Debbie, you should keep a yard or metre stick with an old sock put over the end. You can reach toward the ceiling to knock down any possible cobwebs or spiders. Oh. Oh, yeah, well, I never thought of that. Um, That's a good idea. Lillian says, you just reminded me, when I was at school, I played a prank on the music teacher. <laughs> I put a huge rubber spider on the piano keys and closed the lid. When she sat down and lifted the lid, the spider sprang out and she screamed and leapt off the stool. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> You're a cool bunch, but I love you. Oh, my God. 
that's hilarious. Uh, Barbara says, Debbie, you could get a poodle dog to keep your feet warm. Oh, I'd love a little pooch. I would love another little pooch, but um, alas, the job... Doesn't allow. It's not, yeah, it's not really ideal in the job that I do, but that, that I'd love to do. I would love to do. I um, would love to have another little pooch. You're going to come and see my little pooch tomorrow, I am going to come and see your little pooch. See your house as well, finally. Oh, All this yeah. time you've been in, I've not seen it yet. Yeah, so yeah. So it'll be nice. I hope Laura will be there as well. Oh, Laura, uh, yeah, she will be. Yeah. She'll be there. Perfect. it be, be nice yeah. to catch up with Laura. I've not seen last year. Probably the barbecue last year. Probably, yeah. Oh, she well might be, yeah. She might. <laughs> 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 Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Laura will be in. Yes, she will be in. Sil <laughs> uh, says you can get USB heated gloves and foot warmers. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just we've seen a few comments. I mean, you can colour the hat whatever colour you want it, but a few people said, shouldn't the top of the hat be orange? <coughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't I'm too busy matter. thinking about colouring you. Thank you, though. Uh, yeah. Colouring you? Cuddling. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Cuddling you. <laughs> oh, do you know? Oh, I'm so angry with myself. I wonder if I could get away with that. No, it's oh, not. Do you know? I did though, I top. did orange. Oh, I'm so no, such well, I a quite daft like it. devil. It's kind of an orange. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's see if I can let's see if I can rectify it. I like well, it. Well, pink and orange go together. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about cuddling you, that's what it were. <laughs> there you go. I got away with that. Thank Perfect. you so much. Thank you. Uh, for just reminding me I'm a little faux pas there. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right, I've just so found out the cost of those heated jackets. If I get them? you for Secret Santa, you're not getting one. Oh, right. Oh. They're, they're a bit more than 20 quid, apparently. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, get you a hot water bottle instead. I tell you what, a not water bottle with your face on. <laughs> 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 oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to ask that question. No. <laughs> Just so oh. I could have you in bed with me. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting worse and worse. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God, goodness. please tell me Laura's not there tomorrow. <laughs> so dear with me. Oh, gosh. I tell you what, I'm warming oh. up now, though. Seriously, oh. to all this talk. Oh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. oh dear, how does it escalate so fast? I don't know. I mean, really, come on, how does it escalate so much? Uh, right, so... I, I Back could to the crafting. <laughs> Back to the craft along. I could go and... Uh, <coughs> I could go and uh, pop a little bit of grey around the edge, just to soften around the edge, but I'm just going to fussy cut and then I'm going to decide whether or not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to decide whether or not I need to pop that on. <laughs> jo, I wonder if they do personalise. I'm going to have a look now. I'm going to be searching the internet later. They do personalise everything else, well, don't they? Well, they do, don't they? They do personalise everything else. So, yeah, I think I might... Because <laughs> they, um, there was a woman on holiday when we came back from Cyprus in April. And do you know how you have that problem when you come back from holiday? If you haven't like put a ribbon or something on your suitcase, it can be hard oh, to find. Oh yes. She yeah. had her, <laughs> her suitcase was literally her face <laughs> on the suitcase. <laughs> so as it came round on the conveyor belt, you're like, this is brilliant. And obviously <laughs> no one else is gonna have that suitcase. There she was just like, do 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 a suitcase away. And I was like, fair play. That is oh, a that's brilliant so idea. good. I like that. Full that's a cracking face. idea, isn't it? <laughs> on the suitcase. Oh, dear. You uh, see, now if you can do that, I think, I think Ben, I think it's safe to say I'm going to be able to get, a, uh, I'm going to be able to get a hot water bottle. Oh, I've just had a look, and you, you can get them. You cannot. You can get a personal, and you can get them. Oh, I've just found one for nine ninety seven, Debbie. So you're in oh. luck. <laughs> I'll get you two. Do you know what you've got to do now, though, Ben? You've got to rig the secret Santa so you get me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have to have a word with... Is it still Kelly that organises Kelly, it? Kelly sorts it, yeah. You have to have a, have a, have a whisper in her ear. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got our little...
little bunny. He's all cut out. He's ready to go on. So I'm going to pop him up there. But we've got us two pumpkins and we need to put on our faces. Yes. And this is when your stamps are going to come into their own because you've got all of these fabulous stamps to play with. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, gosh. I tell you, things just... They just slip really easily, don't they? In they this do. Um, I'm you know you've only got 25 minutes as well, don't you? I've got what? You've got 25 minutes. Oh, we're fine. Is that fine? Okay. Yeah, we're fine. We've got all those die cut elements. Yeah. Um, oh, I was going to use that, but that's a little bit on the filthy side. So um, I'll clean that after the show. I don't know who's been using that. Uh, let me Brave. bring you back in, Mr. <laughs> we're blaming Michelle. Yeah, Michelle was using the rock, rocker blocks, so we're going to blame Michelle. Yes. She'll not be watching. It'll be fine. All good. Um, it all, all will be good. Now, because this is a small area to hold down with the magnets, I'm going to come back in with dotty tape pen when I can find it. Ben, where is it? There it is. And I'm going to hold it down with a little okay. bit of the dotty tape pen. Uh -huh. I am actually going to be able to get both of these because I'm going to have two different little faces. I think I might have two different faces. Yeah, my first card had the same face, but so we can speed it up a little bit and have a little bit of fun again. Let's add, we'll have you on that one. And <laughs> let's have a look. Should we have a scary one or shall we have the one? Scary. That one. Yeah. It's evil looking, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's quite scary, in. Oh my God, it looks terrifying. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put him on there. Uh, well, well, we'll go with it. You chose it, Ben. I always so. remember um, when Nora was a childminder, like she had kids of all ages, and um, one Halloween, she, she had uh, a few kids there. They were doing like pumpkin carving and whatnot. Uh, and I can't remember how old this lad was. He was maybe like eight or nine, but there was a few kids there doing their own pumpkin carving, you know, they sort of turned them round and it was like, oh, cute little pumpkin face. It's like, oh, what have you done, little Johnny? And oh, you've done a cute little pumpkin face as well. And this one kid, like, he was unbelievable at, like, art, oh, had carved in, you know, the clown out of it. Oh, God. He carved this face, <laughs> yeah, Pennywise. Oh, like, my what have you, God. What have you done, little Bertie? And they like, turned it round and Laura was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, seriously. Really? It, yeah. Now you yeah. see that that film is another film I can't watch. I just I, I can't. Oh, no. and the new yeah exactly, Johnny. The new ones they are horrifying. Yeah. I nope. mean, my kids love they love them, but I can't. I mean, I can't cope with clowns anyway. Oh, I'm same really. as Laura. Not even like fun cutesy clowns. You know what I mean? No, like the fun, no, no. Of any clowns, Laura has no to turn clowns the TV whatsoever. off. No clowns whatsoever. I just don't like them. They scare me. Um, and it made it terrible once because my son Liam loved clowns oh. and when he was younger he wanted one. Oh, no. So I had to do it and then, I, although I saw the man what he looked like prior to the clown face, before mm. he put his makeup on, it still scared me a little bit. So, and I was like, and then he picked on me all the way through <laughs> thinking thing, didn't he, at a party, <laughs> which I, Liam thought were hilarious, but I absolutely no. hated. I get so I'm that. just adding a little bit of white on there. But can you see how you've just literally lifted them and brought them to life? Yeah. So we're going to pop some foam pads while we've got them here, including my little rabbit. We want my rabbit to be lifted because it's going to be the anchor yeah. that is uh, stopping with the um, <clears throat> the the bay window. So oh, we're going to yes. we're going to anchor this and pop this on here. So again, just going to go in, make sure that's nice. Yep, perfect. Same with my pumpkin. We'll have us pumpkins. Yeah. We'll lift it with a foam pad. You can use your chunky glue if you want to use your chunky glue. Absolutely. But we've got my foam pads there already. So we've got these cute little characters. We've got, I say cute. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> there already. Yeah. The only thing that I want to do and one I want to add is the You Are Spooktacular. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to bring in, now then, let's bring in some of that cardstock again. Let's bring in my stamping platform. Mm -hmm. Just whilst you're inking that up, I must say hi to Sandra, who says a microwave heated lavender bag is better than a hot water bottle. Uh, if it leaks, it doesn't wet your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Do they last as long as a hot water bottle? That's what Johnny wants to know, please, Sandra. Uh, and I must say hi to Donna, who says, hi, Debbie and Ben. I'm loving this craft along. Could you please possibly give a shout out to my grandson, Caden, who is watching with me? Well, I certainly can. Caden, hello. Uh, good afternoon, and Debbie will say hello as well. She's giving you a wave. Hi, Caden. Hi. I, I, I hope you're enjoying the show, and I hope we haven't said anything untoward. How old's Caden? <laughs> Just make sure. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. But I hope you're enjoying the show. So, my big shout out to lovely Caden. Yeah. Can I just say, I love your name. It is a nice name. It's a that, beautiful isn't it? name. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yes. 
Hello, Caden. I Hi, hope Caden. you're enjoying the show. Absolutely. And um, be good if you uh, got, got along and did a bit of crafting as well, Caden. Maybe you're uh, you're getting ready for some Halloween crafting. If you are at home as well and thinking about, uh, you know, getting ready for Halloween, the box, of course, that Debbie is crafting with did sell out, but I will show you the Halloween collection uh, that you can still get, which is available uh, right now. Eleanor's just asked, what kind of ink pad are you using for stamping, Debbie? Yes, so that was a good question. That's why I've put these here, because I stamped with my... Um, faces I use the quick dry ink pad yeah um, and I know that it's not smudging the minute it hits the contact you know contact it doesn't it doesn't um, smudge and um, for the coloring I used the um, alcohol proof because I colored in with our alcohol markers so I've used the alcohol one um, you could use them with your stamping but I'm gonna use now um, a bit of because this spooktacular if I just bring this in for a second now I actually heat set mine but I've realized the time and I think I think if we want to get this done, I'm going to have to just do it with the quick dries. But I heat set this one. But I've used a bit of black and orange in there because this is all one stamp set. Yeah. So I'm going to bring this in with a little bit of quick dry. And I've gone with the orange. And I'm going to just stamp the little pumpkin area of the stamp. Like so. Okay. Now, if you are using our opaque pigment inks, this is when you can heat set this bit. So I've just highlighted that little part. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go in with the black. And again, I'm using our little finger dabbers for this, but it's just to go over the stamped area. Now, of course, I'm using my stamping platform with my magnets, so if I do miss, I can go back in. So I'm not going to worry too much. Let me just pop that on there because it's making the banging noise like it normally does when it's rattling on something. But again, you could heat set them. So that's why if you are going to do this next bit, you could do this with um, <clears throat> your uh, opaque pigment X inks so i'm just going to put that down and i'm just going to stamp that now again if i've missed a little bit so oh, i can yeah. go back in no problem no problem because i'm using my stamping platform um you are spooktacular that looks absolutely perfect looks great uh, you can add more though so if you're not happy with the color the first time you can go back in and because if you're using your stamping platform yeah you can build a little bit of color up then so again i'm just adding the orange mm -hmm. and the quick dry black again and I'm just literally touching it with the um, edge of the ink applicator yeah. over the stamp. And I can be a bit more precise there. When you've got something like this that's got a bit of detail, you can do that. Now, I'm going to make sure that little feet are in the, the wells, okay? That's yeah. fine. And then I'm going to go back down and re-stamp. And you can build up this by going over there. So again, if I lift that over, can you see it's starting to yes. build a bit of colour? So that's exactly what you can do. But I'm happy with that, because what we're going to do now is just trim this down a little bit. So let's just pop that to one side. Bring your guillotine back in, mm -hmm. and we're going to trim it down. Now, it's up to you if you want. You could use your, um, could use as nesting dies with this bit. I'm going to try, because I've realised I've uh, <clears throat> stamped on the, on the, um, on the, choo, choo. On the, on the skew whiff. Oh, skew whiff. Skew whiff. On the wonk. wonk. Actually, I think I might quite like the wonk yeah, this time. I think. Yeah, I think I might like the wonk. So we're going to go in and then we're going to bring all those bits in together. Oh, uh, we've got a Hayden and a Caden watching because Caden uh, is 17. Donna's grandson, Caden, who says big smiles from Caden, uh, who <laughs> loves colouring with my tri blends. Uh, and we've got Hayden who's watching with Diane. Uh, and he's 16. Aww. So Hayden and Caden, have we got a Jaden watching? <laughs> Let us know. But Who knows? We might possibly. Well, yeah. I know. Absolutely. So I've, been, I've managed to be able to square that off a little bit. Let me just see if I can square it a little tad more. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to mount that onto some black matte cardstock. Mm -hmm. um, so I did have some scraps. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I think, I think I'm able to get away with that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Just, oh, just a little bit. Just a little bit too big. Let me see if I can find another scrap. Probably. Oh, perfect. Let's go in and at side of me, producer Johnny he says that were perfect. How did you find that? I said just all the scraps that I've had with my cardstock that I've been trimming down, it worked perfectly. Spooky. Although I can't find. Oh, spooky, mysterious ways. I can't find my straight edge. Um, there it is. I must have put it over onto craft desk. So let's pop this on, and I think. Do you know what? 
I think we're just going to be fine for this. There you are. I think we're just going to get there. away with it. Boom. Time-wise. Um, there's only one little element that I'm just going to add mm -hmm. before we start sticking this together. Um, so you've got gems in. The box itself came with some gems, so you've got some gems. Um, and I am going to just add a couple of little gems onto there. Yeah. We do have, if you, I mean, you probably do have gems. We've got lots of yeah, sequins, sequins loads, on the yeah, show. Yeah, you can use sequins. Uh, but I just want to add a little bit using the gems that are in the kit. I love these. Can I just tell you, the ones that did get them, you'll understand what I mean, but the sparkle mm. on those. Um, Aurora, Aurora, Aurora. Borealis. Thank you. One of these days, I'm going to master that word. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to pop them down randomly. And I'm yeah. going to use the smallest of them. You can pick them up with your tweezers if you're good with your tweezers. Let's just drop them down. Um, and again, let's go up at that top. But they're absolutely gorgeous. I love these. The so that's that little bit. So that's yep. me, that's me um, sentiment all sorted. Um, I am going to put a little foam pad on the back of there as well. But I'm only going to put one in the middle because it's going to overhang over. So I'm only just putting one down for the time being. Um, let's get rid of the scraps. One last little element. And that's the tombstones. We're going to add a little bit of light behind the back. So I'm going to use these scraps that we had from the uh, cardstock that we first started with when we were doing this matting and layering. So I'm just going to add a few little pieces, just trim, and I'll say trim. There's no measurements with these, Ben. We're just going to go straight over. Yeah. And we're going to pop them over the back, and it adds a little bit of colour, and we just trim them down. It's as simple as that. No right, you know, I'm not, I, you could paper piece if you want. Um, but why bother when you've got scraps? Yeah, exactly. Just, yeah, just get it slapped on. <laughs> a good old Debbie turn. Just slap just it on. Just slap it on. Slap it on. Um, and again, I'm just going to go in, round the back, use a scrap, and then trim down. And then, Ben, can you believe it? We're ready to put the card together. You've timed this perfectly. It's almost like I planned it. it almost, yeah. Almost. Uh, almost. I do. I actually time myself when I'm doing these to see if it will fit in with the show. And I always think about all the little stop, you know, the stop bits, the breaks that we do. Yeah. All those kind of things. If you've got someone crafting along with us uh, and those kind of things. So it's perfect that we are literally to time. And we're going to start constructing this all together. Yeah. And I can't wait. I hope you do when you do share your pictures. Yes, please. If you've done the craft along, or if you've if you've taken the style of card, I think Astrid said she was going to do some, didn't she? Yeah. Of something else for please different do, events. Yeah. Yeah. Please do share. Tag me in it so I can see them because otherwise um, I miss them. I don't know about anybody else, but Facebook is a peculiar thing. It is. <laughs> Sometimes can miss things in there. It seems to change day to day, oh, doesn't my it? Oh goodness! Shows absolutely. You so, tombstones ready? Yep. Um. Spiders are all ready, although I think I've been losing spiders as I've been going along because I've been wafting them everywhere. Yep. Oh dear lord. Uh, bats are ready. Uh, little bunny's ready. My bunny is actually going to be, and it's going to anchor, so this part is going to go here, to anchor so it's got somewhere to sit so that the base stays in a base uh, shape. Yes. Uh, that's why I've popped it onto some foam pads. You can double foam pad it so it can be a little bit higher if you want it to, but I'm happy with the one. Now, I, I will put him on first, so let's just peel this back. And again, as long as you remember that you just need something, it could be a strip of card that you put down to anchor it, but I'm just going to, and I'm going to have a little bit over the edge, but I'm going to sit him at the bottom. So it will push back and it will act as the bay window stopper. So you can see that. Now, again, you could take this a little bit. So before I actually stick that down, I could go a little bit close to the edge if I wanted to. Or come in a little bit closer. It's entirely up to you. It depends on how much of a bay you want on your window front. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to keep that down. And then we're just going to start to decorate. So I'm going to pop on my pumpkins. Let's get those in. Think, shall I have the jolly one on the front? Oh, yes, I think so. Let's have the jolly one on the you front. Know. Might just stick him in the middle, actually. Pop the... <laughs> the what? Scary looking one. Oh, yes. Let's have him, let, let, let's have him look as though he's running. Just as a by the by, just to let Susie know as well, we, we will do the vote for the demo of the day. Oh, yes. After completed this. Because oh, I completely forgot about the last that. last show. Apart well, I'll tell you what, this will be the demo of the show because this was a, this was a finished oh. article. Oh. Yeah, right, so you, if I give you this, Ben, yeah. you can then go and start the vote because all I'm going to show you is where to start placing things. Okay. So you can take the original one. Thank you. 
pretty much the same as what I've done. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so we're going to start now uh, popping on the back. Now, I'm going to stick my broom and my witch together. Okay. So I'm going to pop those on. I'm going to use a little bit of our tacky glue with this. And I'm going to stick it on to the front of her hands and a bum. Right. Because I want the bum to stick on to the bum. <clears throat> Bum on the uh, broom. Derriere stick into the broomstick along with the hands. I'm just going to attach that on. Okay. Like so. Let yes. that stick. And then you've got that little element all stuck together. Because they are now going to sit on the inside. I am going to lift them and raise them. So I am going to use a little bit of my favourite glue. The chunky glue. Chunky glue. A bit of chunky glue. You could use your foam pads if you want. But because speed is of the essence now. <laughs> so I can get it all finished. Um... And again, it gives me a little bit of wiggle time to get it into the place that I want it to be. So yeah. that looks about right. I'm just going to lift it up, bring that down a little bit. There we go. So it looks like she's floating in the middle of the card. Okay. Like so. Um, and then we're going to start popping on uh, our tombs. So let's pop those on. And again, I'm just decorating around the edge. I'm going to put some on the front. I'm going to have them a little bit skew whiff. Doesn't matter if it's, they don't have to be straight. You can have a little play with them. And I'm going to put some behind, like so, so it looks on it, getting in an opposite direction. Oh, so yeah. I'm going to put it on the front part this time. Could you red liner tape for this if you wanted to, especially if you wanted it to stick straight away. Yeah. But I'm quite happy. I've got a few spare minutes. We've got 10 minutes left at show. It's absolutely fine. Um, and it's just so that they can stick in and hold. And we're just going to kind of carry on doing that around the front part of that window. So if I just drop that a little bit. Just whilst you're sticking, should we get the vote going? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so both Debbie, of course, both from this collection. So I think this is going to be a difficult decision. So you've got this gorgeous box uh, that Debbie made earlier on on Wake Up Call, complete with the uh, the witch's cat and the spiders and uh, all sorts going on there. That's rather nice, isn't it? So that's your box. Or number two, so that's one. Number two is, of course, the project that Debbie <coughs> is currently making uh, with the witch and the pumpkins and the spiders and the cat and the tombstones, uh, that bay window fronted card. Both amazing. Which one do you prefer? One or two? Uh, get a vote and you've got about five minutes and then we will announce the result before the end of the show. Perfect. Right, so now I'm going to use, uh, again, I think what I'll use is, I'll pop me sentiment on because I want to, Pop that onto the front. So let's get rid of that bit. So we're just going to pop that onto the front um, and just stick that down. I'm just going to lift it up, Ben, so I can see I've got it centralised. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, so I've popped that on and then we're going to add the rest. So we're going to do a little bit of decoration now. So if I just pull these up and I'll, I'll again, I'm going to use me uh, 3D Kalal glue, betterly known for, oh, I said formerly known. <laughs> formerly known as chunky glue. Chunky. Uh, <laughs> as, uh, more commonly known as Chunky Glue. Um, and, oh, my black cat. Where's my black cat gone? Oh, he's there. Right, let's pop my black cat. He's going to sit at the bottom. Yeah. And, again, you could stick these down flat if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. But I'm just going to have him perched at the bottom there, like Perfect. so. And then we're going to just start popping on. Oh, let's put my bats on. Let's get oh, yes. Bat Don't get the bats. Off. It's like a witch's brew, this, isn't it? Bats and oh, spiders. Pumpkins. Let, yeah, and... This is the lovely thing. You can have these dangling down, so you can have spiders dangling down, add a little bit of acetate, get creative. Oh, yeah. Um, I keep looking at those spiders and they give me eebie-jeebies. They really are. <laughs> uh, because they <laughs> the literally, I keep looking at them thinking, there's a spider on my project. <laughs> Let me get it off. You'll be uh, crafting with this in uh, one time and you'll, <laughs> you'll go to pick up what you think is a paper, a paper spider. And it'll be a real one. <laughs> I can't stand mm. them, I really can't. And I know that, you know, that they're tight. I mean, fancy being frightened of a, a little... I oh, know. I mean, it's ridiculous, really. But some of them are big, very well, big. some of them are big. Yeah. The other day, oh, my God, I think it had been on steroids, this one that I saw <laughs> floating across room. It weren't humongous. It were absolutely massive. Mm. Um, and I couldn't settle. I don't know about anybody else. I can't you settle. You couldn't settle or the spider I can't settle. settle. Oh. The spider can do what it likes, but I couldn't <laughs> settle. Um, and it kept playing games with me. It was running under telly. Every time I tried to get it, cash it, <laughs> <laughs> it knew what I was doing. Mm. So it kept running away from me. And, and literally now, you can see it all coming together. I'm just going to add a couple of extra little pieces, but 
you'll see uh, it's sometimes think it's worth adding those extras because i think it full on sometimes full on is quite nice and i quite like this i've got one more bat so where can i dangle the bat shall we have it uh, yeah let's have it there okay. let's pop it here as though it's flying across like so and then i think i'm going to leave it there and then perhaps just add a ribbon into the corner like i did but i'm going to lift it up because you can see how it all comes together and i was just going to put a little ribbon just in this top uh, corner because okay. you've got ribbon in there as well but you can see how it all comes together i'm going to want more tombstone to add on to there as well but yeah. again um have fun with this you've got the style of the card so the bay window part is literally the style of the card and then we're going to just stick that underneath like so and like i said i'm just going to finish a few more little extra elements because I, I found another bat <laughs> I found another tombstone, so we'll add a couple of little bit more pieces on uh, just to finish that off and then tie that off with a bow. But I hope you've enjoyed the craft along. Oh, we yeah. have. I hope um, you've enjoyed the Halloween elements. It's been fab. I've loved it. I mean, I, I could, honestly, I could have cried when I saw my name on this one because I absolutely adore it. I think it's absolutely fabulous. I've enjoyed every single project that I've ever made with this mm. kit. I'll never ever tire of it, I really won't. Um, and I know you won't too. So I hope you've enjoyed the craft along and I hope you've enjoyed uh, the fun as well that we've had along the way. Oh, oh yeah, uh, do feel free to send any late comments to let us know how much you love the card. Pegs has said, I just saw this project. Wow, you knocked it out of the crypt, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, Mary Lee Carroll says, this has been a great show and great conversation. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Melanie D says, this has been a great craft along, Debbie and Ben, though I am a little behind because I'm super slow, lol. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I've kept up much better this time. You'll get there in your own time. And, th and that's the great thing again about these craft alongs is that you can you know, pause, rewind, come back to them later. Uh, Rebecca Hawkins says, such a cute card. Good morning all from Alabama. Uh, hello. Diane says, what a beautiful card, Debbie. Janine says, what a wonderful show. And we can do the demo of the day as well. Uh, Deborah Barnfall says, fabulous craft along. What do you think has won? They're both amazing, right? But the winner is... <laughs> Number two. <laughs> the craft along. There are. Thank you very much. Do you know what I've enjoyed? I've enjoyed all of the demos today. I know I've only done two shows today, but I've enjoyed every single bit. I love working with Craig this morning, and even more so that I've been with my gorgeous Ben. Um, I am back tomorrow, and I am back with three shows. Me and the kids. Yeah. Me and the. Because we're going to wake up call. We've got another craft along. Uh, they'll probably share it on the socials and it's using celebrate the season stamps dies and stencils which i've really enjoyed working with as well so i hope you can come along and join yep. us again tomorrow for another craft along uh, but i'm about to head down the road because i'm going to go and get um fan club night weigh in see how i've been doing since me healthy eating plans been going resisting cakes although i have put one to one side for tonight Little ah, treat. Little treat. I'll be working hard. Thank you. Uh, so, yes, I'm off. But I will be back tomorrow. I can't wait, Ben. And I can't wait to be with you again. Um, Debbie and I are back tomorrow. It's going to be an amazing day. Thank you for all the lovely comments still coming through. Do, as always, send in your pictures at studio.crafterscompanion.co.uk if you have done the craft along or if you don't get a chance to do it today. Do get a chance to um, pop them on Facebook. Tag me, tag Debbie, so that we can see them. If you are in the UK, that is it from us for today. We will be back tomorrow, of course, for Wake Up Call and all those other amazing shows. If you're in the US, do make sure that you come back to 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific for our US warehouse clearance show. All the deals are now live on the website. You'll see the orange sticker deals. Get ahead because we have got it stacked tonight. We've got the uh, Lucky Dips are back. We've got Miss mystery bags, we've got mystery boxes, we've got uh, buy one, get two freeze, we've got last chance sections, there's so much. Uh, so get ahead, get the deals before we get to the show uh, because it is gonna be fast and furious. Sarah is gonna be here uh, for that three hour extravaganza, six o'clock this evening, one o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific. Massive thank you to you all for watching. Thank you to the whole team. If you're in the UK, we will see you tomorrow. If you're in the US, we will see you in just a couple of hours time. Bye for now. <laughs>